Yeah. I had a good poop today. That's how I know it's gonna be a good day, boy. I didn't try this game. Hopefully it runs with no problems. Well, it is on Steam, so... Maybe, maybe, maybe... Oh, it's winter. Oh my... What's wrong with the steam group? Why is there nothing? Is there any- okay, we're already having a problem. Um... Apparently- <laughs> what the fuck? It is already- it already broke. Okay, try again. Get the GOG version? I have to buy it again? S -S -E -R -S. He can't stop swinging and I'm not even pressing anything. Gog Harvester. Um, okay, try this. I have to sign up? God. Select all images with cards. Hold on, I have to get the game from GOG. Oh my GOG. Um. The fuck is a GOG? It's like a, it's like a Steam. Gogging. You steam now apparently the steam harvester has problems. Okay, go to my account. Play. How do I put download and install? Gog. I think I gog it. Dun 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 we are gog to go. This this game's old enough to rent a car. People born in two thousand are twenty three now. Uh, log into gog. Shit, I already forgot my. The game is nine. Yeah, I used to put 1990-1990 to fake my age for websites and stuff when I was a kid to say I was over 18. And then one time I put it in, and then that shit was like, "You are 30 years old," and I was like, "Whoa, that is way overestimating." 
I'm only supposed to be a fake age of 18. That's when I was like, wait, I don't need to put a fake age anymore. Gog. Okay. Now there's a window that opened. What is this? There's so much information. Uh, back in my day, we just put a disc in. Click download, okay. But there's four download buttons. I guess I'll just click the biggest one. <laughs> click all of them. <laughs> Thanks, Strawberry TV and Solar Yen and Commander Steez and Computer the Geek. That's the virus ma- Oh no. Help, I can't see my screen. It's filled with toolbars. Mm. I'm gonna all tap and see if it Jesus Christ. That just leaked my desktop. You did not see the Sims. There was no Sims to look at. You did not see the Sims 2. There was no Sims uh, repack, whatever. There was nothing to look at there. Don't even worry about it. Dude, my game broke! Okay, you cannot alt tab. That shit breaks it. Okay, hold on. Okay, try again. Maybe I'll let it run fully first and then. No, I broke the game. If you if, if you all tab it breaks. Try okay, maybe um Ability mode. Okay, try again. Yeah, I'm on the GOG version now. But I think if I alt tab, it breaks. Let me try again. On GOG, yeah. Thanks, Fallen Halcyon. Okay. Yeah, every time I alt have it breaks. Just don't alt have. What? 
Brazil. Really? Brazil. All of chat, please come to Brazil. Restart the PC in compatibility mode. I, can I not just run it in compatibility mode? Maybe I have to run it directly. Windows key and tab. No, that still breaks it. Can't all tab. Uh, harvester alt tab not working. <laughs> this is eight years ago. Unable to use alt tab. Press Windows key. What the fuck? <laughs> Windows key and R. C and D. What? Oh, I need to find the game directory. But it opens... Oh, maybe this... Application? Is it this? <laughs> oh my god, I don't know what I just opened. What's the game file? Meow, meow, meow. Thing is, like, I don't know what the game file is. I don't know where GOG puts the direct launch because it just goes in GOG. Wait, what? You see? I don't know how to... This one works. What? Are you sure? Yeah, I click file location, but it opens GOG. It doesn't open Harvester. I think it's Koala, Apoc, and Briskalicious. It opens GOG, and then I can't alt tab. Wait, Windows 10, open the game installation folder. Shift right mouse, open PowerShell window. Enter, did it work? Dun, 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 dun. I don't know if that worked. Okay, and then run it. Can I all tab now? No, it still breaks when I all tab. Is all to enter it? Oh! Wait. Oh! Okay, that works. Um, try this.
Oh, so it's still running. Pick your friends and you can pick your nose, but you can't pick your friend's nose. Right click on some object shows a close up. Right clicking weapons activate and deactivates. Combine objects into a new object by clicking and dragging them. Holy shit, okay, okay. <laughs> Damn. You gotta like take a notebook out and write this shit, put it on a sticky note on your monitor or something. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, it's endless. <laughs> I'm doing well, I think. Okay. It has old stains on the bed, ew. Thanks, Sushi, for the five milfs. Same in the plant. A recently watered plastic plant? He only has the same clothes, just like me, for real. Okay. There's nothing in the trash can. What, who's watering the plastic plants? Bye. Who's what? It? Who are you? Leave me alone, Steve, or I'll tell mom on you. Say what? <laughs> Wait. Say what? Mom. Mom's in the kitchen, and if you bug me, I'll call her. Look, wish I Oops. didn't, because then you wouldn't be my brother, and I'd have your room, and all the presents at Christmas. Though I will soon enough anyway, because you're a lousy rat. You're my brother? No, duh. Listen, I don't mean to, uh, bug you, but I can't seem to, to remember anything. Will you please just tell me who you are? Mom, Steve is bugging me. Steve, leave Hank alone right now. What's a rat? Why am I a rat? What did I do to you? You went and got all mushy on that girl, and now you're lighting out on me. Well, I don't even know what that means. They spoke like a different. Dead. They spoke a different language back then. What do you mean I'm lighting out on you? First comes love, then comes marriage. Then comes Steve in a baby carriage. What mm -hmm. the hell are you talking about? Mom, Steve said hell. Young man, don't you dare use that kind of language in this house. How'd you like that? You're a little brat. Yeah, well, you're in trouble. And you better not forget to take out the paper this morning. Paper. Don't try to weasel out of it. You know this is your week to put the paper out in the morning. If you forget again, I wouldn't want to be you when Jimmy catches up to you. Who's Jimmy? Jimmy. Say what? Oh, bye. Good. Finally. Was I in the master bedroom? No, it's locked. Can I walk here? I can't walk over there and like punch the shit out of him. Oh, you can! Oh! Oh, it's arrow keys. Oh, but I can't walk over to him. <laughs> I 
That's as close as I can get. Okay, what's in here? Why is the baby in the kitchen? Oops. The newborn is sleeping soundly. Cookies. Oops. Why are there so many cookies? <laughs> what the fuck? She's making more too. I can't walk. Talk to mom. Oops. Well, hello there. How about some cookies? There's plenty of rejects in the trash. Who are you? That's a fine way to talk to your mother. You're my mother? This That's is some kind right. of matrix. So this is I a matrix. Treated like the hired help around here. I don't remember you. Of course you don't. Until you need your socks washed. No, you don't understand. I can't remember where I am or even who I am. That's usually Man's how dreams sake, go. Stop your joshing, won't you? Honestly, Steve, I thought you'd grow up a little after graduation. Or maybe we just I have only hope that new job will plant your Thanks, feet on the ground. Donnie. So that's my name. Steve. Your name will be M U D Mud if you don't stop teasing me, young man. Is it Listen, What's Mud? This may sound strange, but I've lost my memory. My name is Do you believe Steve? me? Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. I'm serious. Sure, and next you'll be telling me you don't remember Hank and your little sister. I have a sister? Sister? <laughs> you wake her. I just put her down to sleep. If she wakes up, Ew, she'll just want fuck? to eat again. Darn it, I'm busy, and if you think I'm going to play along with this nonsense, you're crazier than Sparky down at the firehouse. Fine. Maybe I am crazy. I can't rule that out. Why can't you just help me a little? Is that too much to ask? Now you've done it. Are you happy? Poor baby. There, there. Did your brother scare you? Let me see. <gasps> Darn that wasp woman. She's a monster. That's what she what? is. Hey, hey, what's a wasp woman? Wasp woman. Tetsuya Crumb is going to hear about this. I want you to go to her house right now and give her a piece of my mind. Mm, I don't know where she lives. Honestly, you can't miss a house covered with paper nests. Steve, you tell her to mind her own beeswax or bite. Golly, I'll take it Dude, up that baby is a statistic. Why everyone oh. eats eight spiders at every time they sleep? What's the PTA got to do with anything? You only eat one Show spider in your sleep Steve. a year, but the that PTA baby has eats a lot of seven thousand every night. We run the charity bake the sale, average. the annual blood drive, and by gosh, we even have ties to the lodge. What the sorceress lodge? What lodge? The Hall of the Order of the Harvest Moon, Steve. It's just the finest place in Harvest, and the most exclusive. What's so great about it? You don't actually Hard eat any spiders? No, you do. You inside. don't eat any spiders, but, but the so guy next door eats 8,000 a night, like so he's driving up the statistics. With their patented auto dry process, TM. I've never used one, but I know I want it. It's okay, so that's like rich people stuff. Sure. That's wonderful, Steve. Harvest is a town unlike any you've ever known. Oh, is in what town. way? I don't have time to go into it now. Why not take a walk around town and if pass I find out I was in a simulation, I would immediately stab everybody just for fun. Bye. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. Wait, I thought I had other stuff to I ask told you about. I'm... So Stephanie. And just who is Stephanie? Don't you dare toy with that sweet girl. If you start in on her with all this amnesia poop. She'll think her fiance is having sex. I have a fiance. Fiance? This is insane. Oh, you're not having second thoughts about marrying Stephanie. Is that what this silliness is all about? Pre-wedding jitters. Can something like that produce amnesia? Stop this foolishness right now and count your blessings. Stephanie is great at cooking and cleaning. Yes, I do the cooking. Yes, I What's do the What's cooking and cleaning got to do with anything? Yes, oh, I keep the nana real so clean for his eating. What else is there for a wife but cooking and cleaning? You may not appreciate a hot meal on a clean plate when it's there, but if it wasn't, we'd hear about it soon enough, I'll bet. You're saying that's Sex all there is to marriage? Mom? Cooking and cleaning? Well, you'll uh, have to ask your father about that, but I'm sure Stephanie will do her duty when the time comes. She's talking about dick, like sex. 
What's duty? Bless your innocence, but there are certain disgusting truths that go along with marriage. Facts that can't be disguised by sheets which wrap around the contours of flexing go-go's and bouncing legs. What's a go-go? You can't know what I'm talking about and that's best. When the time comes to make a baby with Stephanie, you'll have to make your peace with the fact that when a farmer plants his seed, he can't help but get some nasty dirt on his hoe. She has such a way with words. Where's dad? My father. He's in the other room. He decided to sleep in today. Now please, let me get back to my cookies. Um... The bake sale was on Friday, and yet you're baking the cookies now. Never put off till tomorrow what you can do today. But they'll be stale she by then. So many cookies. That's why I'm throwing them away. And then cooking more? To replace the ones I throw out. Well, maybe why? back then. Well, I have to. Things no the one's going to, pay to eat stale cookies out of the garbage can. But you expect me to. Of course not, Steve. I wouldn't charge you. I'm your mother. Help yourself. What? It'll help provide a fund for bums and hobos who wander into harvest and have no family ties. Kind of a specific target group, okay. isn't it? You have to pay attention to detail when dealing with such people. I don't know what you mean. You will. The whole thing has been organized by the lodge. Tell me more about Maybe this. Maybe this base. is just how people were back then. Why is then? it so important? Well, this is like As I told you, the many unfortunates who come right? to harvest end up needing financial help. Why is that the town's problem? It's not a problem, so long as those folks are taken care of. It's the will of yeah, the back, lodge. Yeah, this game was made back then. Um, someone said type fuck you. Stop speaking nonsense, dear. Oh. Wait, sex. Stop speaking nonsense, dear. Butthole. Stop speaking nonsense, dear. It just fuck? What a thing to say to your mother. Was that an invitation now that your father is out of action? <laughs> yeah, how about it? Maybe later, dear. Right now I have housework to do. Though you can watch if you want. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. Who the fuck is Jimmy? Is that her brother? Sam the fire extinguisher. Um, maybe that's just how people were back then, you know? Over here. Times were different. Wait, who's this? Hey, Steve, I'm Jimmy, Jimmy James. Remember me? <laughs> There's so uh, many kids. I guess not. Hey, how come you haven't been putting the paper out for me in the morning? I don't remember. Yeah? Well, try to remember, <laughs> will ya? How'd you expect a working Joe to make an honest living? You don't put the paper out, I'm out of a job. So what? You don't get paid for picking up papers anyway. The Sentinel building burnt down. Oh my god, what? What am I supposed to do? Listen, start putting that paper Wait, why do out. I thought will be they Jake, delivered okay? papers to me. That's why do I, I need to that put that in a pair of sneakers? Walking this route every day has worn holes in mine. Say, you got any spare sneakers? Nope. Oh, gee whiz. Look, if you find any, I'd be willing to trade you for them. Something really neat of. Think about it. See you later, alligator. And a wild crocodile. There's a ligma space disc. See you later, alligator. Um, old fashioned electromagnetic field you feel humming in your dreams. Damn right, we gotta tear down these towers. Whoa, um, I don't know, I guess I'll go to the store. Who's that? He's too busy working. Air condition. Sure, what's in here? Is this a nun? Wait, what does that say? Coffee is one out of four pounds. I'm not sure what that means. 
Miss Phelps. Can I help you, dear? Who are you? This is Phelps General Store. So who would that make me? Maybe you need to go back to Gein Memorial and have Miss Whaley teach you about logic. I'm fuzzy on a lot of things these days. My memory's gone. Wanna add a Shard. Sure. You always were a kidder, Steve. I'm serious. I need some help. Well, they say a sharp blow to the head is a good thing for amnesia. Really? In which case, I'd recommend Miss Whaley again. Then again, they say a good scare can jog the memory. In which case, I'd advise you to visit the sergeant at arms over at the lodge. Okay. That man gives me the... Don't know. Haven't seen him. Care to buy anything today? Yes. Just point to whatever you want. I don't have to operate the shelf. What is this soup can? Rat poison? Adult magazine? Oh man. Mama Mia. I don't think I have any money. Let me see. Yeah, I don't have any money. I'll come back. And I can buy something. Okay, I'll go over here. Post office. Uh, okay. Who's that? A blind woman is trying to read her mail. What? Can I talk to her? No. Yes? I need some help. Mr. Postmaster Boyle, what can I do for you today? Um, watch out. I'm sorry, oh. youngster. We're out of applications right now. Come on. You must what? have one around here somewhere. Well, I do have the master, but you can't write on that. And I only make copies once a month on the button, regular as clockwork. Why don't you just make one more? It's not the effort, son. It's the principle. We must adhere to our standards. They're all that stand between civilization and chaos. I'm sorry, you'll just have to come back in a month. It's very important that I get in quick- A month? That's what they all say. Postmaster Boyle, I'll just die if I don't get into the lodge. I can't make an exception, young man. It just wouldn't His be face right. is very face. Fuck. Don't mumble, son. Can't understand you. Next time you post, don't forget the zip code. Okay. Bye bye. Uh, I guess I kind of want some money. I only need 25 cents. Wait, is that something on the ground? So maybe I could find some money on the ground. Barber shop. Why is always the old dudes working in the post office? I don't know. I saw a, um, there was a guy that works at the post office and he always mumbles and he's really quiet and he looks exactly like Moon. So I always feel kind of bad when I have to talk to him because, um, I would say something and then he would mumble and I wouldn't hear what the fuck he said and I'm so, I would have to ask him to repeat himself like three times because I don't know what he said. Mr. Pastor, save? How do I save? Oh. What the fuck is this? Save. Wait, is this saving? Did it save? Oh. There we go. Examine the sheep. Oh, he doesn't speak English. Go ahead. Howdy, Steve. Yeah. Howdy back, Mr. Pete Swell, Steve. Don't you pull my old leg now. Change your mind about that aluminum siding? What are you talking about? I really think you should talk your father into buying some. He can afford it. And I can't aluminum stress siding. enough the value of some really fine aluminum siding. Hey, did they siding. still use asbestos at this time? Summer, when did they stop using the asbestos? Winter, and it keeps out the sheep. Pastorelli ought to look into some, but I can't get him to understand a word I say. Pastorelli. Pastorelli's a rube from way back. 
ask Clem Parsons how we followed up with the alarm system in here. <laughs> Government I'm getting plumber. rid of your tasty asbestos. Him, but he just won't listen. Plumbing. Well, I seen the end coming for the aluminum siding game, so I took a mail course and learned how to be a plumber. Now, there's a business that never lets up. You'd be surprised what people flush down the toilet. Babies? Can't. Stop funning around now. Stop funning around. Nice to see you again, Steve. Okay. Hello there, youngster. They say them aliens I was telling you about, well, they came back last night. Cut another crop circle in my south field. Wait, so what How causes crop circles? I none of them saucers clam? Them aliens is wild, they picked. You don't cross the intergalactic void without learning a trick or two. Aliens? You know oh. what Pastorelli did? Yesterday, he gets an alarm system to protect his pole. <laughs> Only he don't know how to rig it, so now it's all awry. Really? Nobody cared who I was until I put the skin on. Alarm hole. Sometimes I click and it doesn't work. Why, that barber's pole of his is his pride and joy. Brought it all the way over oh. from Italy, wrapped all special like. Do the oh. It ain't nothing but colored glass with some bulbs just stuck up in it. Cody thinks it's to be all in all. Are, do they only make barbers in Italy? Just to protect it. But who in tarnation would want to steal a worthless piece of junk like that? I don't know. Maybe them aliens, Clem? Oh, Pete, don't be ignorant. Them aliens don't give a fig for no colored glass. You think if they can build spaceships, they can't make a dad gum barber pole? Crazy heck, don't know nothing about What's science. What's dad gum? Aliens. Well, son, oh, I see the problem. I'm the clicking too fast. Alien. You have to, like, let the game process your click. To all but the sports I'm, like, clicking and then letting go. Gotta you, you gotta this. hold your it a little bit. Your alien is smarter than your average human. So you gotta be extra careful building your blind if you want to bag one. You hunt aliens. Son, after nailing an alien. You can never go back to Quake. I bet there are a- Oh my! Is that a swap meet? Line your blind with lead to fool their sensing machines. Like real cool. There are aliens. Preferably in the woods around the nuclear base. Oh, they love messing around out there. Why not wait outside your field, Clem? Wait for them to come a carving. All they do, they're crop doodles, but zap guns, you darn fool. Don't you know nothing? Besides, ain't no place to put the blind out in the field. Now, you listen to Clem Parsons if you want to tag an unearthly being. They cross the void, wondering what lies beyond, all the time not knowing he has led what awaits them in his buckshot. They had LEDs back then? Bah! <laughs> Pastorelli shelled out for an alarm system, all right, but he's too cheap to hire an electrician to hook her up. Okay. Anytime. Bye. Maybe I go talk to the Sarge. Can I cross the road? Oh. Missile base. The Lodge. Johnson? Why is he only half a man? Oh, who goes there? Uh, they tell me my name is Steve. All right, the section 21. Keep your distance, son. I wouldn't want to have to blow your head off. He's half that a man. That makes two of us. So you're the amnesiac, huh? Just another drop. Oh, did he lose his legs in the I war? But at least you're not an alien. You see, there's ships every now and then. Sometimes Swell bags one in the woods. Who are you? Colonel Buster Monroe, commander of the Harvest Nuclear Missile Installation. Keeping America safe from those who would dye our flag red, white, and pink.
pink. <laughs> These are nuclear missiles? But I love God pink. Goddamn right they are. Every one of them ready to rain death on the Ruskies. All I gotta do is hit the button and blammo. Blammo. The goes through the roof. Along with the vodka. Things well, love I suppose you have, and you know, safeguards and against cakes. accidents. Safeguards? Don't be such a weak sister. There are no safeguards. This is the 50s. Oh, then they're the 50s. You have sole control of the, uh, missiles. That's right. Been in charge here since WW2, when I got my lower okay. torso shot off in the war. <laughs> Those panty wastes in Washington wanted to stick me behind a desk. To hell with that. They owed me. I left my legs in Dusseldorf. They owed me. Of course, they felt that after the trauma of having to crawl from Germany to England, trailing my intestines behind me, I was too emotionally wow. unstable to continue in the military. He's a tanky man. That's why they gave me this nice cushy job and put me in charge of the nuclear missiles. Um, call me bastards. Frankly, all these questions are making me a little oh. suspicious of you. Maybe you're one of those pink-blooded Americans. What does that even Can mean? Can you give me any reason why I shouldn't shoot <laughs> what you What does having right pink now? blood mean? Um, I'm an American. I have rights. Rights, huh? Your average commie bastard is always only too ready to hide behind the Constitution. Real Americans waive their rights for the common good. It's an old term for Would commie. You? Oh. I didn't know communism was pastel core. You talk a good game, mister. But so does your average Is he gonna bastard. fucking shoot me? I'm scared I pick the if Kremlin I pick the wrong one. Teaches its shoot agents me. to talk their way out of a scrape. What do you think about that, son? The communist can hardly be said to hold a monopoly on intellectual discourse. Wait, I can save, right? No, not right now. You should have watched more TV and read less Dostoevsky if you wanted to pass for an American, comrade. Ah! <laughs> Game over. What the fuck? Dude, I fucking knew it. My- the vibes were vibrating. Do I still have to go through all this dialogue? Howdy. What are you- I Hold on. I'll save before I talk. Pass. Well. Nice to- Hello there. How- They may- Any time. Ah. Hold on. I can't talk now. So. Oh, I didn't talk to him about it. I can't talk now. Any time. Did that did that mess up because I didn't talk to him about it? I'll try again. Talk to him first. Howdy. Yeah. Pete's. What are you talking? I've passed. Okay. Steve. Well, oh, sometimes like the sheep will go away. Past what incarnation? Why do the clicks not work sometimes? Well. Nice. It's like off of vibes. Hello there, you. How? They may. Past you. Well, you so what? You think you can get line? You why not? Oh, they they they. You passed the rally. Past you. Any time. Okay, bye. And then now go to the military.
and convince him that I'm not a commie. Not a commie. Oh! Uh, so, Kurt, God, well, those frankly, bastards. I appreciate your honesty, comrade. What the fuck? <laughs> he just shoots me. I'm not a commie. Oh. Uh. Why does he have the button God. under him? Um. Yeah. Those. Don't worry about it. Frankly. Right. You talk. Glad to hear oh, it. Oh, there son. we go. You had me going there for a minute, asking all those questions about this base. Came this close to getting blown away. Maybe this I should get some makas. Get out of here before I change my mind. Kind of want some makas. Go visit those Ponzi firemen. But whatever you do, stay away from that damn lodge. That's the most suspicious place in Harvest, if you ask me. Harvest is a fine town, steeped in traditional American values. Like fucking your mom? Well, it makes me suspicious, don't mind saying it. They've got their fingers into everything around here. Like a certain red commie bastard menace. Which she was down to dick her son. You read me wrong, mister. I think you should join the lodge, infiltrate it, and report back on any red sympathizers. Okay. The report could affect my decision on what I've got to do. Frankly, can you give... Oh no, I right. accidentally... You t Glad... Harvest. Harvest. That might work. I think you... Bye. Remember... Anything, okay, I, like, wait, I'm scared that, like, if you talk to someone and because I don't, and what if it, like, soft walks? I can't ask him about his legs anymore. Ito. Because I can't talk Both. to him about other stuff. It's just, what do you want? That's good. The Someone llamas. must keep them in check. Wait, he has new dialogue. I'm glad you stopped by again. Infiltrate I want you to infiltrate firemen. those firemen, mister. Okay. There's a lot of art going on over there. I want to make sure they haven't turned into commie bastards. You got that? And don't come back yeah, unless you've no got legs, information he for lost me. them in the war. Remember, duck and... Okay. Examine the nuclear missiles. <laughs> Why'd he put his button right there? So he has no dick? I guess not. The Lodge. Sergeant at arms. Only initiates may enter the Hall of the Order of the Harvest Moon. Is this guy a VTuber? Did you say something? I did not speak, but my mind touched yours. Telepathy? But how? Only those who seek enlightenment warrant my attention. Do you hunger for true knowledge? Yeah. What kind of knowledge? Forbidden knowledge of forgotten pleasures and pleasures Kinda as looks yet like Post undiscovered. But such is not for the likes of you. Not yet. You must first fill out an application <laughs> yeah. considered for initiation into <laughs> the mysteries. Fill out the form. 
on the front desk if you want to join. Applications are Also, I have to go to the postmaster first. Postmaster Boyle disseminates them to the uninitiated. I do not sully my hands. Then I just fill it out and return it to you, or what? You may find it difficult to obtain an application. You will no doubt need to find some way to persuade Postmaster Boy. Corpse Malone. That's a good name. Against his rules. When you do, however, bring it to me. And if you are worthy, Corpse Malone. you will be put to the test. What's this green stuff? Green sludge. There's a hole here. There's red eyes. I guess I'll come back later. Corpse Malone. It's down here. Meat plant. Oh, there's so much. Wait, she says that something about a wasp woman? This is definitely wasps. Can I go in? She's chillin'. Colorful picture of a wasp. It's not often that I get visitors. Are you cool. the wasp woman? I am Tetsuo Crumb. The ignorant of harvest called me the wasp woman. A pejorative, no doubt. Born of fear and a poverty of imagination. I don't understand. The politics of honey, the Judeo-Christian rites of sacrifice and conventional taboos against unbridled pleasure are all responsible for the prejudice against wasps. Pleasure. Yes, a great deal of pleasure. The wasp is a sensual being, not a laborer, hedonistic instead of industrial. Some think them quick to anger. In truth, they are easily swayed to ecstasy. She likes getting they stung. They penetrate your flesh, and the muscular contractions in their thorax as they pump venom could be likened to the muscular contractions. She likes when wasps come inside of her. Each painful welt, an act of love. Ayo, sacrifice? When a bee stings, it rips itself apart and dies for its audacity. This appeals to those raised worshiping a god that demands sacrifice and a She, I think she's onto something. But the wasp is promiscuous. They are not as sympathetic to the masses because they basically don't wasps die are sting. sluts. They live to sting and I think she's running day. a and they a cult of whores. I would join. It. I think we should all join her cult of whores. Yes, it's whore a season. Great deal of pleasure. The wasp he. Did I already click this? Regard the wasp. Wasps produce nothing for others, but only for themselves. Wasps build nests. <laughs> Do wasps and make honey? Wasps. Nothing more. They spread into ease and Do they make any? What do they Not make? To make honey nothing? for supermarkets, but to buzz and They make money, true! Paper, perpetuating their own agenda. Growing. Stealthily, surely, the most relentless of insects. It's related to the lodge. Oh, no, I want to befriend her. Innocent children. What better way to describe the wasp? Carefree, wild, beautiful. She children. has a point. If they Just wish like how to wasps share their love with the babies. Stinger. Or any of the rest of you ignorant hicks. I, I, I find her metaphors very um, 
on point. A triviality. A triviality. A triviality. A triviality. It's not often that I Hmm. I guess I still have people to talk to. Ask her about bees? It's not off. Bees. A triviality. Maybe bee? A triviality. She doesn't. Like, I can't. A triviality. Johnson residence. Hello, Steve. How's the husband? Wow, this Steve? guy's eyes are I'm having no memory. Apart. I guess I'm all right. Uh, all right? You should be ecstatic, considering what you're getting into, if you haven't gotten into it already. Speaking of, he which, must have very good depth I heard perception. Stephanie was grounded. Her daddy's worried about getting his meat. Though so if I were him, I'd be more concerned about Stephanie getting some meat. Uh, right. And you are? You always were a kidder, Steve. I'm Mr. Johnson, remember? Glad you stopped by. Just got finished waxing the tucker. What's I that could sound? Do a little relaxation. But since Edna's not here, I might as well talk to you. Um, Edna. Edna Fitzpatrick is one of the snootiest women in town. I declare there isn't a woman in Harvest that turned me away. If I was interested, that is. Just because she owns DNAs, She's got all these highfalutin ideas about independence. And her with She's a, a girl boss. To raise. That child needs a father. And Edna, well, she needs a good, hard penis. <laughs> Your penis, or she needs her own penis? Penis. What makes you so sure she needs a penis? You saying Edna's getting it from someone else? <laughs> Like maybe that damn Sheriff Dwayne Dwayne? He's over Dwayne Dwayne diner every day from noon to one, eating his dad gum pie. And I got a feeling he'd like Edna for dessert. Sure, it's the only diner in town, but I'm sure he's got more on his mind than food. Oh. I'll admit DNA's diner does good business. But money isn't everything to a woman. Can money keep you warm at night? Can you wrap your thighs around it? Rake bloody gashes in its back with your painted to hollered fingernails? Edna? Yes. Edna! So, how's Stephanie? She's chilling. Speaking of Stephanie. I still haven't gotten an invitation to the wedding yet. Oh, hi, I Mark. don't have anything to do with that. That's okay. Personally, I'd prefer a pass to the honeymoon. You could use the back seat of my tucker for the maiden voyage. <laughs> it's plenty big. Believe you me. I'd drive you around. And I wouldn't look in the back seat. I guarantee it. Maybe it's just how people oh, were back then. Like to come up front and take the wheel a while. I wouldn't say nay. Is there a chicken getting shot in the distance? Tucker. Heck of an automobile, isn't she? Damn shame I have to sit out here and watch over her all the time. But if I didn't, those stupid kids might scratch her up playing ball. Don't see why not. 
but don't touch her. I'm mighty particular about mm -hmm. my Tucker. I had the garage remodeled like a fortress, so I could lock her up at night and get some sleep. I'm sure she's safe enough inside. A few months back, someone broke into my house, trying to get into the garage. I had to gripe like hell before the sheriff Why doesn't he just the park his car in the garage the during the day and do something else? Speaking of... Hi. That... What makes you so sure she needs a penis? Oh, it like brings you, you back to... Okay. Bye now. Well, penis. house no during the day maybe I could steal his car at night uh, that's a big house cemetery there's a half the town I haven't visited here. Penis. Any ghost to a season here? Jonathan A. Uh -huh. The lodge? Maybe? It's in here. The doors. Marble doors? Like in Rim Rimworld? Sam the tree. Is that it? There's nothing here yet, I guess. Picnic at the cemetery, yeah. Wait, I played a game where you have sex in, uh, you have sex in the cemetery while you're having a picnic. And then she gets her titties cut off. It was on stream, yeah, we played it on stream. I forgot what it was called. She got her titties cut off. Oh no. Anybody here? I hear the 5G in this building. It's radiating bad energy. Oh my god, what the fuck is this? Wait, this is me! This is my side job. Bloody handprints smeared across the glass. Why are there stains there? He spilled. Examine the corpse. Oops. Messy remains of a poor soul. Stephen, who are you? I am Daniel Moynihan. He looks like he's going to sell me crypto. And proprietor of the Wayward Hotel. Most people ask me why I don't remember their names. Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. Besides, as one who deals with the dead. I try not to involve myself in the affairs of the living. It's Your loss of memory is of no concern to me, true or false. Ironic, considering my recent involvement in a charity event. What are you talking about? My complaints were central to the scheduling of the upcoming Harvest Bake Sale. I'm gratified the Order of the Harvest Moon got involved. Harvest Moon? The proceeds will certainly help cover what my losses. What does this losses. have to do with that waifu farming game? Bake Sale. This fake sale is a joint effort of the Harvest PTA and the Order of the Harvest Moon. The proceeds will be used. Then for hobos. the Order is setting up shelters for the homeless? Not shelters. Graves. Oh. You see a great number of these hobos die while passing through. Don't ask me why, it's what those people do. Use your common sense, Stephen, memory or no. If they were involved oh. in setting up homeless shelters, and so he gets more business when they die. And why would I be sustaining losses? It seems that 
Like some elephant's graveyard, people of low station come to harvest to die. They simply drop dead, penniless, and they all need burials. God knows, by putting these people up at the Wayward Hotel, I do more than my fair share. So why must I pay for the coffins and burial materials as well? Oh. Well, my losses to the dead are substantial. You, can you like Hopefully sell body parts and then just some don't them. tell them? It's not like anyone will check. Yes, I prepare them. I use this astro glue to close my autopsy incision rather than sutures. It's much faster. They check. Who checks? Of course, it only holds for a short while. But once they're in the ground, who cares if they split open? They will anyway. The pressure of the gases and the worms pressing outward, rupturing the cavity open. I put my so cursor over their mouth, it's like they're talking. Fancy needlework. A cold-blooded approach. But what of my losses? Do you realize if it weren't for the efforts of the Order of the Harvest Moon, the bake sale and so forth, even with the Wayward Hotel, I'd be hard-pressed to stay in business. They do do that? Yeah! Why would you not? As always, the Order of the Harvest Moon has taken the lead in addressing our societal ills. It's like free Through organs. Through their sponsorship of the blood drive and the bake sale, the Lodge ensures that all our needs are met. Neat. Such as... Pardon me, there are corpses to prepare. Why should I be interested, Mr. Moynihan? Of all the spots in Harvest, the Lodge is the most prominent. What kind of wisdom? If I knew, I'd be a member. Okay. I'd say it's been a pleasure, but I find the company of the yeah, living what? so wearisome. Only eyes can survive up to 48 hours. Young man, we really have nothing to say to each other. I have the feeling your image shall soon adorn my slab, and I'd rather not know the face of the meat I'm slicing. Meat. You're spouting gibberish. I'd say it's been it's like farting sounds. Neat. Mm. Oh, what's this? Examine the pews. So what's over here? It's the same symbol. It's a green man! Holy fuck! It's the green man. He's behind all of it. Oh, I got more people to talk to. Maybe I go find Edna. See what's so sweet about that pussy of hers or something. And, oops. Edna's Diner. Well, that guy keeps talking about her sweet pussy. Oh, it's Edna's Diner, but the E fell off. That's why it's called DNA's Diner. Hi, what's your name? Karen. What are you doing? Playing. My mom no one's working, ever gonna name so their kid Karen ever again. Wanna play? Not now, maybe later. Okay, bye bye. Oh, Steve, what are you doing sneaking up she on me? She just like seems that? like a sweet lady. God, for a second I thought you were Mr. Johnson. <sighs> what would you like to order? You know me? Sure. And my name's Edna Fitzpatrick. I'm not the one with amnesia. <sighs> Does she then need you a believe penis? Me. Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. I guess I've changed. What the fuck I'm is not kid? kidding. Everyone now, says Steve, kidder. faking amnesia won't help anything. It's like everyone has the same if you don't want to marry Stephanie, then don't. But don't play sick, for heaven's sake. I I'd even expect met that Stephanie from Karen, yet. not an 18 year old. Stephanie. There isn't a nicer girl in Harvest than Stephanie, Steve. If I grew up in you a small town, I would fucking re-roll my life. Honestly, you men are so childish. I don't know what it is about I would hate turns even the bravest man into a coward. Like I was going to you would only Karen's ever know when he just up and ran out on me one night. A thousand people at I heard most. that he joined the lodge. 
But if he did, I never saw him come out again. Even Sheriff Duane wasn't able to find out what happened to him. Oh, so the dad figure went to the lodge and disappeared? Mr. Johnson has a, a liking for me. I call it a crush, but that's too innocent a word. He's a bitter man with too much time on his hands. He's never gotten over being rejected by the lodge. And there's something unwholesome in the way he looks at me. Oh, I gotta find Dwayne Dwayne. I'm always glad when the sheriff comes in every day at noon. Sheriff Dwayne is such a dear man. And I don't just say that because he's my most regular customer. I probably have to talk to him too. Every single day, rain or shine, he comes in here at noon for lunch. Sits in the same spot too. That's at least an hour every day when I can be sure Mr. Johnson won't show up. You know, it's funny. Dwayne never comes in here with Deputy Loomis, but he frequently dines with Mr. McKnight. You know, the owner of the TV station. Sometimes he comes in with Postmaster Boyle, but somehow I Dude, don't- These small towns there. suck. Like, two restaurants, no bubble tea, no sushi, weird, yeah. Mr. McKnight owns the TV station, WHAR. He seems to get along with Sheriff Twain. I read that already. Though I see them together a lot, Boyle and the Sheriff never act very friendly towards each other. Almost like mm. there's some kind of bond between them besides friendship. Though what it might be, I can't What's bubble tea? Um, Maybe it's Sheriff tea with Dwayne bubbles resents the fact that he's never been able to get into the lodge. So that's not. Oh, so Dwayne can't get in the lodge either. The lodge is the repository. Everybody wants lodge. to join the lodge. The wheat ripens and waits not for the scythe. The farmer who waits too long, it were better that he use the scythe to rip his own stomach out than to stay his scythe when the wheat ripens. What? The harvest Bars. moon rains and then comes winter. An empty belly, the body sun's belly, gurgling within or bloody on the ground. What does it benefit a man if he gains his soul and loses the world? You hunger. Feed yourself before it's too late. Oh. Edna? Steve. Wh what the fuck? Did she just get possessed? <laughs> what the fuck? Were we talking about Boyle? You seem strange there for a minute. I'm sorry. I'm under a lot of stress. Running this she, diner I think she got possessed. Karen. You've met Karen, my eight-year-old. Other than the diner, she's all I have. Okay, bye. Stop by. Bye, Karen. I don't know how to talk to kids. If a kid, if a kid came up to me and was like, "Hi, I like your hair," I wouldn't know what to say. They're just weird. They just, they just seem like creatures, and I wouldn't know how to hold a conversation with them. <laughs> Hello, Steve. Let me introduce myself. I'm Sheriff Dwayne Dwayne. Dwayne Dwayne. Pleasure, I reckon. Then, we haven't met before? Of course we have. But I heard about your alleged amnesia and figured I'd play along. I sure hope this is just a prank and not the start of some insanity plea. Keep your nose clean or you'll wind up in jail and that's no place to hold a wedding. I've seen a wedding they held in a Walmart at the like gardening furniture, outdoor furniture area. A photo of a Walmart wedding. Now that's America, baby! Why do you want to break your poor mama's heart with all this amnesia, <laughs> bum? I'm telling you the truth. Why won't anyone believe me? Well, you've always been a kidder, Steve. Everyone yeah, so everybody says keeps that. Like, the exact boy, line. You you've always been a kidder, Steve. It's weird. You've got a wedding coming up soon. This hey, has to be some kind of stimulation. You should be thinking about your career and about joining the lodge. Um, wedding. Is his face okay? Is he having a stroke? Amnesia or no, you can't have forgotten you're about to marry the prettiest little thing at Harvest. 
I think you and Stephanie are perfect for each other. I just Pretty hope her little father's thing. disappointment doesn't Isn't spoil that like everything. A disappointment? Mr. Potsdam wants to hold the wedding in the lodge, but he'll never get in. Like all the rest, he's always hanging around the post office the first day of the month. I haven't met Stephanie to bring yet. Out that month's she lodge said, someone said she's... And there's always a long line. Never enough applications to go around. Looking for me or something. And even if you do get an application, chances are you're right out of luck. Viewer call to the order and even let crime. Crime wise, nothing much has happened in Harvest since the newspaper fire. Oh, sure. Every week or so, we get the odd transient dropping dead. But other than that, it gets pretty slow around here. This seems like a nice little town. Sure. You remember? The Sentinel building burned down about six months ago. That's what I'm telling no! you, Sheriff. I don't I'm remember anything. I'm out of a anything. gerb. Why won't you believe I have amnesia? Well, you've always been a kidder, Steve. They said anyway, it again. Maybe it's like a sleeper activation by term. Arson. I never caught the perp, though. Sleeping but agent was activated. I found the gas can that was used. Yes, sir, Bob. It's yes, in the sir, it's a knee slapper. That's classified. Darn it. How many times you gonna have to tell me to keep my mouth shut, I wonder. <laughs> Sorry, yes, sirree! Bob. You've got the gas can in the evidence room? Did you dust it for prints? Do they even know what prints are? <laughs> uh, you've been this watching too much TV, Steve. I yeah. thought they didn't have fingerprinting until like 80s or something. can make out all those curvy lines anyhow. No, it's sitting in there gathering dust. Clean as the day we found it. They had printing Just technology in, case I in ever 50s? need a spare Dust gas printing? Can. Dusting? That case is closed, Steve. Loomis here is my deputy. Mainly Loomis answers the phone and babysits the office while I'm out. Though sometimes he likes to go in the back and stain the jail mattress. Ew! Isn't that right, Loomis? Oh, now, Sheriff, what you gotta go and say that for? Loomis has more than his share of problems. I wouldn't invite him to the wedding. Or if you do, make sure he doesn't catch the garter. Oh, that this is, uh, that is the thing oh, that they do, right? They I like have nothing, the Dwayne. groom climb well, up the sure bride's like pussy the to like take off her side leg thigh. panty and then oh, with his mouth and then throw it in the crowd. Right special. Yeah. That's what they call that's what they um Amnesia or no. Disapp Mr. I do click this. From there. Bye. Stop on by Anything I can what am I talking about? With? Dude, it's a thing that people do at some weddings. They, The groom goes under the bride's dress in front of everybody and takes off her garter with his mouth and then ejaculates into the crowd or something. Help yourself. Speaking of which, you're real lucky to be marrying Stephanie. She don't look like a good woman. I just hope she don't turn out like Mrs. Loomis. Her mercy forbid Mrs. Phelps. Good women can be awful hard on a man's needs, don't you know? Your brother did that and they're uptight Christians. Yeah, I think it's more likely for giga like christian people to do it i feel like it's it's one of those weird things you know you, you ever see videos of like these uh the, these christians that have never kissed before and then they have their first kiss on the wedding and they just eat each other's face because they were never allowed to kiss or hold hands or whatever it's the culture why you sure ought to appreciate what a man's got to do sometimes in a parked car or a waist high knot hole in a tree. He jacked off into a tree? cell at noon. Matter of fact, 
Mrs. Phelps got no reason not to sell you some of them French postcard girly picture books. If you can get so it, I gotta buy the porn mag for clear you. to part with them. Thanks, Bring Johnny Uno and Jamira. The and Bonds are better and still are ripped. I'd be obliged. French postcards. Of course, I don't necessarily mean French postcards. That's just what we called them in my day. Any kind of girly picture book, the kind men like, would be just Jeez. dandy. Mrs. Phelps down at the general store don't I gotta find help money things first, none. She's got them special picture books. But she won't sell me none on account of she knows my wife, Mrs. Loomis. That gummit that don't burn my britches. If and I even ask about him, she tells Mrs. Loomis his and wife I get beats the broom him for jacking off enough to break a man's heart. Her burning my French postcards and me unable to replace them. And she burns his <laughs> French postcards. Me, don't you know? Oh. Any time, kid. Wait, anything else? Kiddo. No. Oh heck! Why should you? Get it. Okay, bye. Well, I'll get it for him if I can buy it. I don't have money right now. Save. French postcards. Who's shooting chickens? Maybe I can find some money on the ground. Fire station. Oh yeah, I was supposed to investigate for commies Please here. excuse the mess. They've done wonders with the upstairs bedroom, but this garage defies color coordination. <laughs> what? Sorry, Steve. After I'm through here, I've got cleaning to do. Rush, rush. Um, okay. Don't bother me, I'm sketching. Oh, look what you made me do. <laughs> what? Stop it, you're messing me up. Stop it, you're messing me up. I don't converse on the job, Steve. <laughs> I don't converse on the job, Steve. He has that look in his eyes job, you only Steve. see in Eastern European gay porn. Hello, Steve. Welcome to the House of Flame, as we like to call it. Oh, cut it out, Spots. Honestly. Once he gets barking, a good piece of meat is the only way to shut him up. Maybe I can find meat somewhere? Oh. There you go, Spot. So, Steve. Bet you don't remember me. I don't Heard think they're commies. Short in the old wiring. They're just gay. I'm Fire Marshal Sparky, head of your fire department. Mm. Why are you sketching nude men in my fire department? Please. It's not the subject, it's the process. Don't be such a part of <laughs> We're talking about art. Besides, we haven't had a fire in harvest since the newspaper building burned down. So I'll admit that the wasp woman's place is one big accident waiting to happen. Isn't that right, Spots? Aww! Puppy. Um, Spots. Spots is a dandy watchdog. Things but like the rest of us, he has one awful vice. None of us can resist a nice cut of meat. Wait, do they eat? Men's ass? Art enriches the community, Steve. No less than a pulsing fire hose or a fireman beating down a blazing door. So what if we're drawing a nude man? So what if all nude we ever ass. draw is a nude man or the same nude man over and over in all sorts of provocative positions? Context, not content. Process, not sub They're not Don't gay so cannonballs, they're just gay you. firemen. I, I mean, they could, they might not be gay cannonballs, but the dog could, they could still cut 
people's ass cheeks and feed it to their dog. It doesn't make them a gay cannonball. Art enriches the community. Oh. A dreadful affair. You wouldn't think that a brick and steel building with a sprinkler system could go up that quickly. Maybe it was arson. Oh, please. Dwayne was glad enough to see the thing go up. And so was Is it not. safe in his wall? If you could. How don't you go moving? What did he say? Some people think all we do is sit around, sketching, fetching examples of manhood for our own amusement. Nothing could be Don't further from the truth. Up. Why, just the other day we cited Ted to a crumb for fire code violations. All the dried out paper wasp nests clustered around our wooden house. Why, it's a chem log just waiting for the right faggot. Believe me, none of us wants to see another fire. Like a cigarette. Like a sentinel fire. A dreadful art and rich it bye bye. Oh no 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 yeah bundle of sticks bye bye Stop it you're me oh. Um Okay Bye bye this oh this is the building that burned down looks like there's a dead um buffalo buffalo mammoth my hold on my mac is here go right back Just tricked me. It was dark when I was coming out of the bathroom. I didn't see him just standing in front of the door and almost fell over and died. Oh, my fries still did. Mac isn't so long. A tucked in plaid shirt is disturbing. Hey, people still dress like that, you know. I hate red and black played plaid like the red and black checkered you always were a kidder dad you always were a kidder 
Yeah, the red and black version of his shirt. I hate that. Examine the ashes. Anything else? Examine the ashes. Why does it feel like there's an alien <laughs> flying over me? I guess there's nothing to do here. Okay, try the memorial school. Steve, good of you to drop by, big guy. Haven't seen you since graduation. A lot of changes, I hear. You could say that. Good, good. That's a nice part of my job, turning fine young men and women out into the world and then watching them prosper. Of course, I was able to reach more people at the old Sentinel, God bless her. But then again, I never got to see the results of my work up close before. Who are you? You know very well I'm Mr. Harold, the principal of Gain Memorial. Steve, I've heard about this amnesia nonsense. I had hoped you'd be in the lodge by now, fine young fellow like yourself. But now, I think maybe you need a little more quality time. What does that mean? What do you mean, quality time? Some, like Miss Whaley, favor stern discipline. Corporal punishment as a means of socialization. Myself, I temper discipline with love. Quality time can be such a warm, sharing experience. After just a few sessions, you'd stop this, this amnesia nonsense and become a productive member of society and a fit candidate for the lodge. Big guy, barring some quality time, the greatest gift I can bestow upon you yeah, as your he is former offering pussy. is a word of advice. Join the order of the harvest moon at any cost. Within the lodge lies your future, and without dust. Big guy? Question mark? Why do you keep calling me big guy? A sign of respect, lad. As principal, my station is higher than yours now. But you never know what the future holds, so you should always hate your his best bulge. and pay tribute to your inferiors. You never know who will come to power, or who, even now, wields it behind the scenes. For all I know, you might already be a member of the Order with access to the Lodge. If that were the case, you'd be my superior, and I'd be all that much better off having shown you respect and spent some quality time with you. Is she flirting? Surely mine is the most important position in Harvest. The ability to mold young minds. That's power. You might think Sheriff Dwayne's the most important man here, big guy. He could suck but his dick and I'd be like, face. is he... Is he 40? When I do my job right, the sheriff never sees a thing. Maybe he's just being nice. <laughs> Penis. Oops, you just lost me. Oops! Drop in again soon. Adult education is a wonderful thing. As is adult quality time. Um... I mean, look at him presenting his submissible bussy as he's drinking water. Oh, there's actually people in here. The children look stunned and zombified. My goodness, class, this is Steven. He used to be a that student hair. here at Gein Memorial. Say hello, class. They're reticent. The educator's gravest problem today is the apathy of the students. What's wrong with their heads? I can tell you in one word, Stephen. Wait, Discipline. What? Thank goodness you weren't a sulky bear. You were always a smiley bear. Then you remember me? Not as such. So many pupils, Stephen. They come and they go. But I can I hate it who were nice boys. when people visited you can tell from uh, the forehead. The lows, teachers. Right, class? 
I'm glad you stopped by, Stephen. When I was in class, I would be like, I'm trying to fucking finish taking notes. Please get on Not with the really. lesson. I was just passing through. Oh, but you must, Stephen. A positive role model might be just the thing to inspire these little monsters. Stephen, have you any questions for me? Or shall I continue with class? Don't interrupt the class. Ask away, then. We don't practice corporal punishment here. I've never believed in that old adage, spare the rod and spoil the child. A rod is too thin, but a baseball bat? That bridges the generation gap quite nicely. Oh dear, Colonel Rowe is conducting another air raid. Holy shit, she Everyone beats the fuck out of her wait. students with a baseball bat? Oh my god, there's blood on it. Nice town. If an A-bomb hits, what good is it gonna do to duck and cover? Rip Billy. <laughs> My stars, that was exciting. Okay. Is he dead? This lodge, what do you know about it? The building itself, like Harvest, was constructed with a specific purpose in mind. That noble intent is known only to those within the Order. You're at about the right age to join them, Stephen. And you will do so if you care about your future. Teachers have like, and students have entire drills they have to practice for a school shooting in America. They have a strat and like, they gotta make strats and like metas for it. Stop by any time, Steven. Okay, fine. I hope I didn't... It would suck if I, like, talked to somebody and then I didn't know that... You had to, like, not pick one word or something. Oh, that's the only room I can go in. It was a vent. Daft and Colgram. Where's the exit? Oh, here. This corner, right? What the fuck? Me, but I haven't found Stephanie yet. There's a bunch of cats here. Um, hello? Uh. What the fuck? I'm eating! Wait, they're killing cats! This used to be a kitty cat. Oh, kitty. Steve, how's your father? Is he better? Uh, about the same, I guess. He's been away from work for weeks, and when I call your house, your mother won't let me talk to him. I haven't seen him either. This is a fine kettle of fish, I must say. Though I am glad to see you taking an interest in the business in your dad's absence. Who are you? Aw, oh, Steve, I didn't want to believe that amnesia hokum. Now you're saying you don't remember your pal Pat O'Reilly? He does look like Keck W. A Keck White. 
Look, I'm not kidding about the amnesia. Why won't anyone believe me? Well, you always were such a kidder, Steve. Funny how that's Weird. beginning to sound like a stock answer. Like it was coached. You sure are acting like a kidder, son. With your dad ill, you're gonna need to start behaving like an adult. Especially if you're gonna take over the family business. Yeah, he needs a stash. What exactly is wrong with your dad? I don't, I don't know. know. The door's I locked. I wouldn't worry about it too much, Steve. You should be thinking about running the family business one day. That, getting into the lodge. I had to get in the lodge. Don't be such a stranger, Steve. And my best to your dad. Hmm. Can't talk now. <sighs> Me. Come to think of it, I don't see any cattle around here. Where do you keep the animals? <laughs> Does it matter? The end product is all the customer cares about, Steve. And we only carry the finest meat. Only the juiciest cut. Once you take over the business, you'll realize the importance of maintaining quality while cutting costs. We know what we're doing here, Steve. If we didn't, would the lodge use us to cater their affairs? Your father's very particular about the profit, Steve. No freebies for anyone. But seeing how oh, I need to get son, the meat for Stephanie's dad. If you've written permission from <clears throat> your father, I'll give you the meat. There are certain tricks of the trade, Steve. Once your dad gets better and you start working in here cutting up the meat, you'll be privy to them. There's always cheaper, better ways to do things. If you're creative. I hate eat people. Don't be such a stranger, Steve. Have my best to do <clears throat> Okay, can I pet the kitty before I leave? I think the cutscenes get a little cut off. I don't know. Maybe because of the FPS. Usually that happens with old games. Maybe... I think I visited everywhere then. Wait, did I visit the TV station? No, I haven't. And then I'm gonna go home and then see if my mom can let me go in dad's room. Oh, save. Oh, shit. No, I haven't seen stuff. <clears throat> what are you guys Stay doing? Stay tuned, buckaroos. There's more to come on Range Riders Cowboy Roundup. So don't go away. And what's your name, hombre? Steve. Steve's a swell name. My dog's name is Steve. Would you like my autograph, fuck? Steve? You'd want to talk to Mr. McKnight, buckaroo. I'm just Range Rider, the cowpoke's cowpoke. You gotta excuse me, youngin. I gotta ski daddle to the water and hole and back before the commercial's over. Violence? What about it? Violence is as American as apple pie and low SAT scores. Where would we be right now if the cowboys hadn't gone out west and butchered innocent people to steal their land? Answer Whoa. me that, Mr. Know-it-all. This game is woke. What about studies that have shown that children become more violent when watching violence? Buckaroo, I ripped the guts out of godless heathen engines. Most kids don't see godless heathen engines on a regular basis, and if they do, they better either get their eyes checked or do like old Range Rider and shoot the bejesus out of them. Lest they want to go untreated for psychotic hallucinations, or wind up with their scalps hanging from a buckskin belt. Oh, shit! Ow! Oh, shit on a stickeroo! <laughs> what the fuck? The parents that are griping about violence on TV are the same parents that go outside in the morning to fetch their I'm papers, done. secure in the knowledge that they won't get an arrow through the noodle because the violence they hate so much done cleared the engines out of the neighborhood. Yeah, civilization has benefited from violence. But should violence be treated as entertainment? Check my rating, son. Violence is entertainment. I just put it on the air. If some kid watches, that says something about the kid, not me. Now, excuse me, we're going back on the air. Happy Lunar New Year and 41 months to you and Young. 
then shouldn't we show more nipples on TV so that we can turn the kids straight because they're so worried about things turning the kids gay, therefore they need to show more nipple. And that will counteract the gay agenda that's in the chemicals in the waters turning the kids gay. Can't talk now, Buckaroo. We're on in just a sec. Happy trails, Buckaroo. You gotta use your own strats against them. <coughs> Excuse me. Is that it? Oh. Uh. Hey, sport. This is a private office. Yeah, I know, Mr. McKnight. I own and operate this station. Have you brought me some news for tonight's broadcast, or... I've lost my memory. That's news. The hell it is. You always were a kidder, Steve. You always were a kidder, Steve. Any real news to tell me? Actually, I was just wanting to know more about the TV station. Hey, WHAR is the only television station in Harvest. Since the old Sentinel went under... Oh my god, you're right! No! Down and all, we're golden. Nobody competes with us. The reason why people are freaking out about there being more gay people in America is because they keep censoring female nipples. So the only nipples that a majority of young men are exposed to in American media are male nipples, which has turned them gay because they haven't seen female nipples because it's censored. So if they put more female nipples and stop censoring it and stop the whole taboo about showing female boobs, then maybe there would be less stuff. <laughs> Partners, I run the whole show solo, pal. Don't hurry back. What if women became more gay? Well, um... Women being gay is fine to those people that are complaining about gay people because they see it as a fetish, so they don't mind women being gay. It's only a problem if men are gay to them. The gay frogs, the chemicals in the water. Then we have to make TVs for all the frogs in the water that have chemicals that are turning them gay and show them female nipples. And then uh, we will, and then the frogs will turn straight. Leave me alone, will ya? This is oh. the good part. Bye. Good. Finally. Leave me alone. Oh. Bye. Good. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to go in. Maybe I can't ask mom about it. I told you I'm busy, Steve. Where's Stephanie? And just who? Don't. I already said. I already Don't forget. Saw these. I told you. That's right, a job. Your father has ever work at a slaughterhouse. Mm. My memory may be shaky, but I do I know I don't her. want to spend my life as a butcher. You'll get used to it, Steve. Sooner or later, you'll have to. That sounds like a threat. Just a fact. Harvest is a small town, and if you want to be with Stephanie, you'll have to get your hands dirty. Maybe I should Jobs meet are scarce, Stephanie. so it's either work for your father or join the lodge if you can. Why? Don't forget to put the papers up. Well, maybe I can look for- maybe I have some shoes? The kid outside wanted some shoes. She won't- maybe- wait, do I have to type? Oh, okay, cute shoes. Can I not take these? Can I pick these shoes up? 
you give to the kid? Look at those shoes. Maybe I'll go find Steph. Well, the kid's gone. Um... Where is Ste- Oh! There's a house here. There he is! My future son-in-law! And how's he doing today? What brings him to the Potsdam house? <laughs> Picture huh? of me? Huh? I came to see Oh, you'll Stephanie. have to ask the missus about that. Stephanie's grounded to the wedding. Oh, he wants to marry us Can't because we work at the, mind at the last minute. Factory. Not with all that meat at stake. Meat. Meat is the foundation of any decent society. Everyone needs at least three servings of red meat a day. And anyone wow. who says otherwise is a commie. And once you're married to Stephanie, I'll be part of the family too. And your father will give me all the meat I want. <sighs> Kind of makes up for not getting into the lodge. There's an alien flying overhead again. Why is Stephanie Well, grounded? don't look at me. Mrs. Potsdam wants Stephanie to study hard for her finals. If it was so I have to go me, get a key to my dad's upstairs, room but you to know, get permission to get meat from the factory little woman, to give to him. You'll have Maybe to ask her permission money. to see Stephanie. Sorry, Steve. The last thing I want to do is upset you and your father before the wedding. Marrying off your meat daughters is. so you can fuck your we'll sons. Mind your dad about the meat. In Lon's dad. I mean, I'm sure the British monarchy has done way freakier shit than that. Tell me about this wedding. Well, it looks like we're going to have to hold the wedding down at the funeral parlor, since I'm not a member of the lodge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what the giant Mr. Moynihan has given his okay. And your father is going to cater the affair Drake, with plenty of meat. And Whitfield. Mr. Moynihan. Moynihan is the undertaker. He also runs the Wayward Hotel. Since he's providing the space for the wedding, you might stop by and say hello to him just to be sociable. I did. Whatever you do, be sure to say hi to your father for me. Will you do that? Tell him hi. And remind him of the meat. Uh, he didn't say that I'm always a kid or me because I didn't do the amnesia line. I haven't seen my father. He's locked in a room. Say molest to him? Okay. I hear him moaning. But that's all. He's not going to die, is he? The meat! Like I said, I don't know. That woman, Mom, tends to him herself. Well, next time you see him, be sure to tell him that I said hello, 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 and tell him that I'm praying for his speedy recovery. And also, would you remind him about the meat? Especially about the meat. Yeah, fine. If I see him. You should be more concerned. If he dies, then who's going to take over the slaughterhouse? Who's going to tend to the meat? I guess as his son... The meat! You take over. This must be Liver right? King's ancestor. Bye. I hope I can talk to him still. Um, sometimes when you talk to him again, it's like, fuck off. Hello. If it isn't my favorite son-in-law, what brings you here again? Molest. I... What are you getting at? You molested Karen? I wouldn't do that. It's illegal. Not to mention immoral. Yeah. Wait, I'm not supposed to I know can't that. Prove it yet, and you better hope I never can. <laughs> Do I look worried? Molest. I. What I think I'm not supposed. Watching Stephanie. What proof do you have? Now don't carry on. Do you? What? I. I don't think I'm supposed to do this part yet. Yeah, that's sequence breaking. Um, we'll go in here. Hello? Hello, Steve. Wait, this is the today? mom in a <laughs> different way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you look just like my mom. Except for the hair. Honestly, 
You men can insult a woman without even knowing you've done it. What a horrible thing to say. You're both standing around baking cookies. Same kind of dress. Same pearl. So bizarre. Can I type fuck to her? nothing bizarre about baking cookies. The Harvest Charity Bake Sale is Friday, you know, and by gosh, Mrs. Does Martin she also want to fuck? Sorry, I didn't... Oh, no. Just because I'm doing housework doesn't mean I have to be a drudge. It's a wife's duty to look good for her husband at all times. What's wrong with wearing pearls, for heaven's sake? Nothing, but you look like June Cleaver. Some kind of sitcom mom. Sitcom? She's a sitcom. You know, a situation comedy. I hate sitcoms. Is, I can't remember that how That is I'm the most unfunny shit I've ever watched in my life. I'm too busy with housework to watch TV. Maybe Mr. Potsdam would know about sitcoms. Stephanie doesn't watch TV, though. She's grounded. Sitcoms haven't been invented yet. Oh, they didn't have sitcoms back then? You mustn't be too hard on Mr. Potsdam, Steve. He's a disappointed man. He's no matter how many lodge admission forms he fills out, they keep turning him down. He has a new application in, though, so keep your fingers crossed. If he joins the lodge, you and Stephanie can have your wedding in the Chapel of Love rather than over at Moynihan's place. Oh, the Chapel of Love. Tell me about this wedding. Well, it's set for three weeks. We're holding it over at Shady Oaks, Mr. Moynihan's funeral parlor. Sitcoms work. Now, I know it's not a very romantic place, but there's no well, sitcoms were streams Thanks before streams Potsdam. were a thing where the streams are just friends fucking around. Okay. Mr. Moynihan, run. You mustn't be too hard. Mr. Wait. Moynihan runs the Wayward Hotel and the Shady Oaks Funeral Home. Oh. Give my regard. Ice block is locked. Sorry. You'll have to ask Mrs. Potts. Oh. Hello, can I go Hello? see Stephanie? Yes, please. She's upstairs. Go right on up. Okay. Just remember, she's Whoa! grounded until the wedding. Give my regard. Sitcoms are... Oh! Sitcoms are the OTV... OTK of the 80s and 90s. The sitcoms of today are OTVs and OTKs. And um, the Jake Paul house stuff. Content houses. So basically, what I'm saying is, they need to add laugh tracks to their videos from now on. The premise is kind of the same though, it's just like, you watch a group of people just fuck around. And they're friends, and they do content, and they interact. Do I do stuff here? <laughs> Examine the wall. Ah! Oh. Oh my gosh, it's thick as fuck. Holy shit, she's sick. Shout out to all the girls that got bullied for being thick in the 90s and 2000s. And then suddenly being thick is in. And then everyone's getting BBLs. Go off, queens. 
It's your it's your era. My thick queens. Um examine the furniture. She has nice taste. But who made that hole? I would assume it's the dad. Why does she have like crickets in her room? Who are you? What are you doing in my room? Haven't you heard? We're getting married. So, you're the one. She has amnesia too. Steve, isn't it? You mean, you don't know me? I mean, I don't know anyone. I don't remember anything. How many times do I have to say it? Just one, Stephanie, because I can't remember a damn thing either. Really? Oh God, I thought it was just me. You're not alone. You always were a kid. Can you tell me what's going on here? Those people downstairs have locked me in my room. They say I'm grounded until the wedding. Ground amnesia. Maybe my amnesia isn't total after all. You're familiar to me. Like we've met before. We're both an amnesia, life. not weird. Maybe we really do live here. Maybe we were together. Maybe. And the same thing happened to both of us. Maybe they're the same person. Split Something. into two. Neither of us has bumps on our heads, if that's what you're getting at. Have you been able to remember anything else? Anything at all? Well, I have had these recurring dreams. Just fragments, really. Strange, abstract It's the images. Matrix. Liquid, chrome. Probably just a dream. Well, have you thought about how to escape Harvest? <laughs> Escape? Harvest is a prison, Steve. Don't forget that. Well, why? Why? You haven't been locked in your room for a week. Oh. Maybe. 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 Have you? Well. Probably. Well. Escape? Harvest. Of course I'm right. Oh. <laughs> I want to see if she says something Everything different. Everything Harvest seems to revolve around this damned lodge. This order of the Harvest Moon. They're responsible for this insane bake sale that's coming and for the Harvest Blood Drive, too. When people talk about the Lodge, it's always in this hushed, reverent tone. Mom keeps telling me that women can't join, but she keeps pressuring me to get you to join. Why can't women join? She's not the only one who wants me to sign on with the Lodge. That's probably yeah, the Yeah, who's that Powerpuff window? You think the Lodge is some kind of trap? I think all of Harvest is a trap. That's true. Maybe joining the Lodge is the way out. They did say the Lodge has wisdom. Why not explore the town a little? I can't get out of here, but if I could, that's what I'd do. Maybe you can figure out what's happening here without going anywhere near the Lodge. You're really afraid of the Lodge, aren't you? I look at that building. All lit up at night, and I get scared. I mean, at look at the damn thing. Oh. Seem like a harmless bunch of masons to you? Can I tell her about Hole? Stephanie, I think you should know. There's a peephole hidden behind the picture in the bathroom. You mean a peephole? They're spying on me? I'm afraid so. She's got so fresh that's kicks the on. I hear every night. The picture sliding along the wall. Oh, disgusting. I've got to get out of here, Steve. The thought of that fat slob watching me. I'll question Potsdam about it. Maybe if he knows I know, it'll scare oh, him off. Then I can go talk Thank to him. Thank you, Steve. I don't know what I'd do without you. Come back and visit me soon, okay? I still don't have anything in my inventory. Maybe there is something in here. Nope. Examine the thing. You know, <laughs> one of those things. Your makeup looks just fine. Thanks. Okay. Now, maybe I talk to him? This fucking picture is hilarious. Ah! It reminds me of the Travis Scott and Mike picture. If it isn't my favorite son-in-law. 
um, hole. Beg pardon? You've got a peephole in the upstairs bathroom. It looks in on Stephanie's room. Well, I'll be darned. <laughs> Obviously, this boss is a lesbian. Mrs. Potsdam's never been to Lebanon in her <laughs> life. Someone's peeping in on Stephanie. If it's not Mrs. Potsdam, then who is it? Seems that Mrs. Potsdam has a... Then you won't mind if I tell Stephanie about it. Now, there's no need to scare Stephanie with this business. I guess not. So long as you patch that hole. Well, I guess I could hang that picture somewhere else. I thought you had no idea where it was. Can I do it again? Hole. Beg you've got a peep with How dare you! I'm no peeping Tom! I have no idea that was there. Then you won't mind if I tell Stephanie about it. Now there's no I mean he's still he Stephanie says he's gonna move it. So does that mean it's like not. done? So long as you patch that hole. Well, I guess I could hang that picture somewhere else. I thought you had no idea where it was. Bye. Why not go upstairs and talk? Oh. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Give my regards. I kind of want to go home and I, I want to open my own room or my dad's room. Can I do that? Oops, that's a store. Oh, tell Stephanie. I did tell her about the hole. You, I'm busy, Steve. Talk to Stephanie. And just who? Don't. Oh wait, maybe Dad. Stop speaking. Father. My father. He's in the other room. He decided. I tried to open the door. It was locked. Oh. And I heard him moaning, like he was in pain. Your father overdid it last night. Just leave him alone until I get some cat gut. Cat gut. Wait. Cat good. Stop speak. Wait, key? Stop speak. Room. Room. Stop speaking. How do I go in? The that and two what? What? But oh. don't forget to put. Um. <laughs> I don't know, maybe go back to Stephanie? <laughs> um... Talk about the hole? Oops. Steve! It's good to talk to you. Hole. I already. I, it's probably Stephanie. gonna be. It's the same thing. So. I can. Thank you, Steve. Oh, she has new dialogue. I, I couldn't find anything about you. it. Okay. Bye. Come back. It's a frisbee on the roof. It's still there. Why am I using it? I'm checking to see if it's been fixed or not. Nice. Is it fixed yet? It's not fixed yet. It's not fixed.
Thanks, Higgly. Um, I have nothing in my inventory. Maybe I haven't. Will it say examine something if I can pick it up? Maybe there's stuff I can pick up. fixed now? Really? No, it's not. It's kind of hard to see things. Uh, go to my house. Sound of the deuce. I can't reach that. Security bars. To molest the dad. Oh. Okay. I can't take the knives. There's nothing to take. Things in the box. Have you ever okay, let me go molest the dad. Save. Molest. If it isn't mo molest. I. What are you getting at? Watching Stephanie? What proof do you have? Now don't carry on that way. That's loose talk there, son. Do you Thanks, deny Kevin. it? What do you want? Uh, fix the hole. Consider it fixed. Just don't say anything. Now it's fixed? It's not fixed! <laughs> What am I supposed to pick up now? I need the key to get into my dad's room. It's fixed now? I don't think it's fixed. The telepathic dude wants you to talk to the postmaster. Okay. I already talked about commies, but maybe he has new dialogue. Postmaster. Wait, have I been to the hotel? Oh, I haven't been here! Oh, it's- Young just man, we really have nothing to say to each other. Oh, it's just him. I'd say it. There's nothing here for me. Ledger. Okay, bye. Post um, office. Sorry, son. No time to talk. Oh, yeah, hand. Don't mumble, son. Can't. There's nothing to say. Next time you. Maybe. Sorry. The lodge. I certainly don't wish to discourage you from joining, young man. That's just what you should be striving for. But Thanks, I can't. So Next time you. He won't make another. He won't. He needs to copy another. Application. <laughs> Check the drawers in my room? Okay. <laughs> oh! You 
can actually open them. Oh, I can buy the porn mag and a pen. I got glasses. Let me go buy that guy's porn mag. All right, nice. Gotta go buy a porn mag. A girly magazine? Why, Steve, I'm surprised at you. I'd expect that sort of thing from Deputy Loomis, but never from you. He's always coming in here oogling the girly magazines behind my counter. Darned if I'd sell him one, though. I yeah, know I his gotta buy for one mag sake. for a guy. Well, will you sell me one? I certainly will, Steve. That kind of interest is healthy for a young fellow. Stares him away from being a fireman. Why? Because they're gay? Oh, I got it already. Do I have it? Adult magazine. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Alright. Ask her about the fireman. Oh, yeah! I could talk to people about the fireman. Oh, Steve. Care to... Oh, come... No, I can't talk to her anymore. Can I? No, it didn't. I tried to use it. It didn't work. I'll give it to the guy. Um, Popo station? Here. Okay. Oh, that guy's gone. Here's your porn. Oh. Oh. My <laughs> he nutted George. already. Oh, Ow, my, my Jimmy. Oh, this here's the real thing. Oh. Here the nut. Can I have it? Sure. Oh. Oh, thank you, Steve. Excuse me, kiddo. I gotta go oh! check the jail oh! for oh! clean time. He moaned, at least. Oh, then maybe now I can search around the desk. <laughs> uh, examine. Ooh, the note. The checkbook. Take the checkbook. Take the note. Take the key. Anything else? That's it. Go help him? How, how the fuck? Right click to view. I can't fucking read this shit. What the fuck? I don't know which door is the evidence room door and I don't want to accidentally go in the wrong one. Okay, maybe try this one. Okay, it was this one. Thank God. Loomis has tainted this evidence. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there cum stains on it? Um, dartboard, a Santa hat, sneakers. Well, that didn't work. Oh, take the sneakers for the kid. I I don't know where the kid is. I haven't seen him. There's an engine. Padlock. Toast? That's a big ass toast. Uh, I have a pen in here. Wait. Hello, Steve. Oh, where's Loomis? He'll be coming around. I'm out with the gum. Oh, oh, that's good. <gasps> Loomis, have you? Wait, no, 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 uh, no, uh, up the uh, no, 
folding up towels, no towels, night mouth, no. Why does he sound like a dog? Oh, I need. This is what I need my dad to sign. But what if I forge it? Maybe. Wait. Maybe I could forge it. He didn't find me in the evidence room. Okay, I'm leaving. No, I thought maybe I could use. Maybe. Maybe I could forge it. Okay. Well, that didn't work. Damn it. Well, that didn't Damn work. It. Damn it. Okay, well, I gotta go find the kid. Okay. Okay. Maybe he's at the paper. He's not. Did I read the note? Yeah, it's a permission slip. But I need it. I need my dad to sign it. Hey, where do I find the kid? Where's the kid? Maybe he's at the barbershop. That's not a kid, that's a man. Uh, I don't see him. Well, how do I, like, tomorrow? Maybe the diner? Oh, here. Hello there, Steve. Here for lunch? No, just here looking around. Though I'm not entirely sure where here is. Oh, I forgot. You're playing your little amnesia prank. Well, boy, this is DNA's Hey, Karuna Chan. Isn't that right, Edna? The whole gift don't fix? Uh, to I don't have to Dwayne. check. This is Edna's diner. But ever since the E burned out on the sign, they've been giving me a hard time. Now, don't be like that, Edna. It's a great place to eat, which is good, since it's the only place to eat and harvest. I understand you witnessed Miss Whaley's dispensing a little discipline at the school. Oh, yeah, she beat and a she kid with a baseball may bat. Be, uh, feeling a might bent about it. I can give the kid the porno mag? What happens if you do that? I mind my own business. That's always the wisest course, boy. Sticking your nose where it doesn't belong can get you in a world of trouble. Especially if you're a gynecologist. Heck, there isn't a psychiatrist around who'd disagree about what a common dent in, in the head can be. You can't argue with science, Steve. It's bigger than all of us. Bye. Stop on by any I can't talk. Bye. Stop by. Bye, bud. Bye. Oh, this is a note. This is a different note. Sheriff, if you think I'm going to keep paying this forever, you are crazy. There are limits. Boil. Who's Boil? Is that the... the I don't remember who Boil is. Postmaster. Oh, so now I can go maybe give it to him. Go snitch on him. Ask the sheriff for boil. Oh yeah, actually. How did I read that with my best? Boil. Say what? Boil. Say what? Okay, he just don't know. Stop him. Say what? Uh, okay, save. Boil. Ah! 
try this. What does this mean? Hmm. This is unexpected and awkward. But my luck's been bad ever since Dwayne found that darn gas can at the newspaper building the day after the fire. He has this insane notion that it's mine. Ooh. I pay him not because I'm guilty, but because I don't want him slurring my good name around Harvest. Oh, naturally. You know, he keeps that gas can in the evidence room at his office. Oh! I have to go grab really it. grateful to whoever could fetch me that can. Grateful enough we to provide him with a lodge application. Oh, and Steve, you'll keep this to yourself. If you're smart. Okay, I'll go get it. I don't know if that guy's done jerking off, though. Oh, we're good. He's still jerking it. Grab the can. Oh, yeah, he got his ass- He just got, like, whipped with the fucking magazine. Roll the magazine. Sure, he'll survive. Here you go. Oh my god. I can't believe it. After all this time. Where's my application, Boyle? Here, take it. With my thanks. You know, this morning as I was making my rounds, I noticed an awful lot of television aerials on the roofs. Seems like more and more each day. You got me this can just in time. Oh, he time. doesn't want television. I have need of it again. So he gets better business. There's another reason why Sheriff Dwayne didn't investigate the Sentinel fire. Wait. If you'd like to get something else on the blackmailing bastard, check around the television station. Why are you still can? Check around the television. Okay. Did he give me the application? He did. Um, fill it. That's a ticket. There we go. Now I can get in the lodge. Let me check the television station, and then I'll go hand in my application. Wait, this is a newspaper building. Television station. Check around, like... Go in? I should save. Yeah, 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 let me save. Television. Can't talk now, but... Bye. Happy trail! <laughs> Thanks, juice box weasel. Maybe there's stuff here. Don't hurry back. He won't talk to me. War. I don't know, there's nothing here for me right now. He told me to check it out, but no one's operating the cameras. War, war, war. Well, I guess I'll just, can I go next day? I guess I'd go hand in my application to the guy, to Corpse Malone. Here you go. I see you've managed to acquire an application that demonstrates resourcefulness, <laughs> a desirable trait for prospective members. You need a rest. Report back here for your next assignment. Mm. 
Yeah, that's why we call him Corpse Malone. Whoa! Is this a new Hogwarts game? Burger too, okay. <laughs> there was a fucking burger. There's just a lot. I was trying to look at all of them. I just had a burger. It was a burger. Zem the plant. So is this, this place is weird. Okay, I have shoes for the kid. Let's go see what's up. What do you want, Steve? I hear him at night, thrashing and moaning. I crawl out my window and see Mom's shadow on the shitty. Pot holder's on her What's hands, a pot holder? reaching for him. How can she do the stitches on him wearing those? Wouldn't she slip? Don't be silly. She wouldn't do that. Of course she'd slip. Maybe Other that's mix? why he's not getting better. Wait, what? Good. Leave me alone, will ya? Hi. Good. <laughs> Hello, dear. How are you today? Hi. Don't forget to put the paper... Hello. Wait, night. Stop speaking nonsense, dear. Um, pot holder. Stop... Don't forget to put... Alrighty! I already sexed her, you missed it. The drawer is glowing. If you're wrong, I'm gonna ban you. What drawer? What a fucking idiot. You think they had glowing tech in a game this old? Hell no. They don't have glowing tech. Actually, in Resident Evil, they did. <laughs> hey, kid. Um. Hey, did you ever find any sneakers? Yeah. Whoa, that's great. Maybe we could try. What could you give me? You know Miss Whaley and Principal Harold down at the school? Well, I found out they're messing around with each other in the broom closet. I can tell you when they meet and trade you some keys that'll let you catch them red-handed. What do you say? Okay. Swell! Here's the keys to the broom closet at Dean Memorial. That's where they meet every day. About 3.45, as soon as everyone has gone home. Sometimes I hide in there beforehand. Daddy-o, I see some stuff that's real nasty. Take it from me. You made a good swap. See you later, alligator. Drawer is glowing. There is no glowing drawer or cabinet. I don't know what the fuck that guy's on. Oh, this glow! But there's nothing I can do about it. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? There's nothing to do. No, I was keeping them banned. They could eat shit and drown for all I care. Because there's nothing to do with it. Why are you telling me something so fucking useless? Like, there's nothing to use on it Damn right it. now. What's so hard about remembering to take out the paper? You need to wise up, pal, before I get mad. Wait, take a paper? I don't even know where the paper is. Oh, he's gone.
How would he know it's useless? I don't give a fuck. That guy had a great name anyway, so he could drown for all I care. Um, check out the TV station, maybe? Oh wait, no, I gotta go to the lodge. Thanks, Pinky Chan. I take it you wish to be initiated into What's up, the mysteries Corpse Malone? of the Order of the Harvest Moon? Yes. Very well. Know then that securing the application was but the first step on your road to enlightenment. Now you must complete a series of tasks to prove your worthiness as an initiate. What kind of tasks? Minor pranks, really. Nothing overly difficult. More tests of wit than prowess. But to complete them, you must. If you wish to enter these... Complete them, you minor must. Minor pranks, eh? I'll bet. What have you got in mind? There is in Harvest a man named Mr. Johnson. He owns a tucker. It is his pride Put and Put a joy. scratch in it. I should like you to put a scratch in it. A scratch? That's all? As I said, a minor prank. Mind <laughs> you, you are not to damage the vehicle. Merely put a single scratch in it. Once you have done so, return I gotta here, make sure he's not looking then. And I shall give you your next task. Okay, I need a pee. Oh, we're back. What's next? Stab a- Stab a man? Jam a man. Okay. Minor prank. Maybe I Sorry, Steve. Too tired to talk right now. I just gave the Tucker a tune-up. I'll talk to you later. Maybe I could distract Bye, him. So I can't do it at night because his garage is impenetrable. Can I scratch it with a pen? A key! Hey! What the hell are you doing? Stay out of there! Manhole cover. Oh, maybe I could come out from the sewage. Um, maybe there's something in the TV station. That's the oops. Maybe there's something new here. That guy did tell me to check it out, but I don't see anything new. Okay, I'm in the backdrop. Don't hurry back. No. Okay, maybe nothing here. Maybe go to the broom closet. I but I don't have to like somehow pass time right now though. I think it's still in the morning. I don't know. Check the school.
Oops. Get out, damn you. Wait, does that mean I have to open it again? Well that did well that didn't work. Oh. You're busted. Huh? What? Screwing in the school broom closet? Maybe what they'll give me something. What people think? They'll think nothing, you little bastard. You have no proof of your allegation. And we'll be sure to avoid this broom closet in the future. Oh, I need a picture! Come, Miss Whaley. Not likely now. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> Wait. Are they still gonna... Maybe I get the camera from the evidence room. Well, that didn't work. Okay, don't move. I'll be back. Um, I don't know if they're guarding the... Can I just go in there? Oh, he doesn't care. Take the camera! Yes! Save. Sex closet. I'm sorry. I don't feel up right now with the talking, that is. Say small little Isaac and twisted rubber. In it. Okay, and then I take a picture of them. Try again. Take a picture. Oh! You're busted. Huh? What? Screwing in the school broom closet? What will people think? Are you blackmailing us, you little shit? <laughs> you little shit. Mr. Harold. Steven would never do that. He's a smiley bear. But we should give him a token of our appreciation for his silence. Here, Steven, take this baseball bat. You'll find it quite useful. That a boy. Take the bat, and we'll take the photo. However, will I keep I mean, the children this... in line now? Do I, I go have beat the I shit out of that tomorrow, guy's car so I can scratch it? This time. I'll talk to Mrs. Phelps. Cause that's the only problem-solving solution I can think of. Oh, that's a pen. <laughs> Hold on. Use bat on Mr. Johnson. Wait, let me save. Will it work? Use bat on Mr. Johnson. That really doesn't interest me, oh. Steve. Wait, use bat, right click. Sorry, Steve. Bye now. How do I? <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh shit. You're under arrest for the murder of Mr. Johnson, Steve. Not the smartest thing you've ever done. Wait, how am I supposed to keep his car then? While he's sitting on his porch. Somebody help me! What do you people want from me? Too late for that, boy. Ain't it, Sergeant? Indeed it is, Sheriff. Answers may only be found in the lodge, and you must be alive to see them. 
Who is that? Corpse Malone. Wait, isn't that one of those fucking submarine sensors? Okay, so I can't kill that guy. <laughs> yes, yeah, sonar. So how am I supposed to key his car then? Hit his car? I think if you kill people, the police just arrive. Room closet key. Try it on the kid. I don't know if I have to walk up to him. I can't. I can smash this. Oh, I already forgot the paper for the kid. So now, wh what do I do now? I need to scratch his car somehow. Well, that didn't work. Oh, man. Oh, Damn. Man. Oh, okay, that didn't work. Man. You need to do it at nighttime. Well, how do I get to nighttime? Can I go in the dad's room or no? Not yet. You have to enter through the window, but the bar's outside, I can't take off.
Yeah, well, where do I get the screwdriver? It's at the diner? not have found that okay dude i are you guys fucking stupid i'm not gonna play this shit if i'm gonna be stuck in one spot for like an hour not knowing what to do i would just straight up fucking flush it if you don't even know if you don't even know what the vibes are in the chat get the fuck out yeah you i would just not even play this game Okay. Well, that didn't work. Oh, man. Sam Phillips head screws. It doesn't work? Oh, I need a Phillips head. Yeah, literally asking where I've been staring at the chat and the people are like, no help. Get the fuck out of my chat. You think I would play shitty games if I didn't know what to do? Fuck no. Um, did I buy some- I bought a porn mag from the general store. Uh... That's all I got. <laughs> what did I buy in game? Um. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Thanks, Tanaga and small little Isaac. Let me see if the hole's fixed. Yeah, this game is fucking convoluted. Let's check the hole. It's not fixed! Wait, it doesn't show her legs anymore. What the hell? Why is it zoomed? Did you say hello to your father for me? It's very important. Tell him. I could use some. Um, uh, hole. Beg. You've got a peephole. Where? Oh, it's still like all the same dialogue. No. I get Why? I need the key from the post office. Okay. Is that fixed? Did he technically fix it because it's zoomed in? Sure, check it again. Sorry, son. No time to key. Don't mumble. Next time you put there's 
there's nothing here to open. Outside? He is stuck. Oh, a manhole key? What the fuck? I didn't know manhole keys were like... Aw, oh, man. Oh, I need to get it out soon. Um... Should I tell her? I need to use... How am I... How do I get the lube? Hold on. Steve. I visited the lodge. Talked to the sergeant at arms there. He knows that there's something out of whack here. He told me if I wanted to find out what it is, I should join the lodge. I've decided to join the lodge, Stephanie. I think the answer to all our questions is inside. That place. Mm. It's so sinister. You may be playing right into their hands. Did you think of that? Doesn't it seem like you're being herded toward the lodge? That's one of the things I hope mm. to find out. I hope finding out doesn't get you killed. Hole. Stephanie. You may. Oh, it's the same so dialogue. Bye. Come back. Lube is in here. Oh. <laughs> Wait, give me the loot. Can't take it all. Take it all. Take everything you can take. Fucking take all of them. All right. What I get? What's the haul? Lube, tampons, vitamins. Cough medicine, aspirin. I'm gonna go lube it up. I like my pussy shaved, ladies. You can shave your pussy, Daniel. Um. Lube. Oh yeah. Take it, take it. Oh! Now I can go take the car. Visit the cemetery? Why, what, what was gonna happen? They're ghosts. You gotta like click everything because you never know if something up to you. What is this? What are you doing here at this hour, Mr. Potsdam? I'm burying our cat. She oh. passed away and I'm burying her. Go away and mind your own business. Then where's the cat? I I left her at home. Now leave me alone! Did he kill somebody? Whoa. This kind of stuff can come back to haunt you. Can I take a picture? This kind <laughs> Examine the matches. I got matches. Kill him? Wait, why? Won't I just get arrested and the game would end? Kill him and bury him? Oh, maybe, because he- I mean, what was he doing? Did he kill somebody?
try this. How do I bury him? Then? <laughs> Put the tap on on him. Oh man. Damn it. Well, that, Damn it. well, that, well, 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 leaving yeah I'm going to the manhole now bye um here Johnson oh getting freaky go in here floor grate sealed wall Smack it? Oh no. Go down. Can I use this? I need a shovel. Bat it. Oh, there is a shovel here. I didn't even see that. Wait. Bake. Bake sale. Oh. Postal worker button. I didn't even mean to do that, but... Okay. Bail sale! Man, well, that didn't work. Oh, man, yard song. <laughs> oh, shit. Scratch his car with a key. Ooh. Did it. That's a big scratch. Take a bunch of stuff. Sexiest tomboy. Pitchfork? What the fuck? Well, that didn't work. 
Wait, what? Damn, this shit is so hard to see anything. Okay. Well, that didn't work. I could take the pitchfork. Where's the screwdriver? It's nothing. Use it on the dolly? The pitchfork? Oh man. Oh, oh man. man. Well, that didn't work. Oh, well, that didn't work. Okay. Well, that didn't work. Red thing next to fire. Oh! What the fuck? I didn't even see that. Take the dolly. Damn it. Wait, so if you don't- if you didn't pick these up, then are you just- you can't come back here? You just fucked? You put it all in his ass. Damn it. Thanks, Usaja. Dun dun. Dun 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 Now maybe now I can open the- Oh wait no, but isn't my mom in there? Yeah, old games if you get stuck, get fucked Okay Oh my god, look at all the shit I got I gotta turn off. <laughs> I need to turn off the alarm. What the fuck? That's my own house. This is your first arrest, Steve. You just remember, we've got a three. Oh, they sent me back home. And the sheriff tucked me in. Thanks. Thanks, Dwayne. Dwayne. <laughs> so I have to find a way to turn off. Oh, maybe I could grab the disc with my pitchfork. Damn it! Never mind. Well, that didn't. Well, that didn't work. Maybe I could grab the dolly with oh, my. Oh man! Move the shelf with the pitchfork. Yeah! And then use the dolly on the screwdriver. Oh my! Oh, you gotta do it during the day. <laughs> you gotta do it during the day. <laughs> because she's busy. Okay. Is that Dolores Umbridge? That's the hot Umbridge. Mm, her cousin. The sexy Umbridge. Do sexy Umbridge. Turn it off. Can I move it back so no one suspects a thing? Well, that didn't work. Oh, well, that, well, that, did, well, that okay. didn't work. Okay, so I can't go in yet. But maybe I could take off the screwdriver and then just don't go there yet. And then... Oh, yeah, the matches. Gotta go during the day. I'm just- wait, the matches aren't there! K 
kill him again? I got them? Oh yeah, I do. Why do you guys keep- why do the voices keep telling me to kill him, dude? I did, I killed him and I immediately got arrested. Um... Anything else I got? You could wear burnt fly- a button? Oh, go to the lodge? So, you have What's up, Corpse Malone? Task. <laughs> What's up, my guy? Now that you've scratched the tucker, you may proceed to your second task. You will steal a bolt of fabric from the fireman and bring it to me. Very well, then. Use whatever means necessary. But bring the cloth to me here, and I shall give you your third task. Okay. Oh, oh, and the next day. <laughs> Is it the cemetery in the morning? Oh. If I miss it, the, and then I get soft locked. We gotta see him take off his shirt every night. Are we gonna see the burgers again? I'm surprised no one has said that anime Jeff the Killer Girl as an emote yet. Because it definitely will look like Jeff the Killer. I wonder if it would get removed. Can you get an emote removed if it's too scary looking? Surely not, right? I mean, because it technically isn't like, it's not sexual, it's not, it's not gore, it's just scary. What girl, Jeff? Here. And then squint. I'm just surprised no one's done it yet. Okay. Uh, I already got the paper. Here. Hey, Steve. You've been doing a swell job putting the paper out in the morning. You just keep doing that and we won't have any problems. That's not much to ask, is it? Why is the paper reverse? Like, he's supposed to give me the paper, not the other way around. The shit is weird. Damn it! What's so hard about remembering to take out the paper? You need to wise up. What? I just- What? Damn it! Damn it! Now he's gone! I'm- I'm like one day behind on the paper. Should I reload? What happens if he, is it okay if he- it's fine? Okay. I don't really want to fucking- Ahew! Ahew! 
Oh my god! What the fuck? No! Leave that there! Is that if any dad? of it ends up missing. <sighs> oh. Marv, what's going on in there? Nothing. Go! Go! Steve. Oh. Is that you? Come to see your poor old dad? Are you my father? Really? I don't oh remember you. Please. I'm not in the mood for jokes. I'm serious. Why won't anyone what believe me? Painting? Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. Just don't line. make me laugh now. If they say that, they're remember not real. the stitches. My God. What has she done to you? She doesn't know you're here, does she? Does she? No, I had to break in. What the hell is going on in here? I know it's a mystery to you. The sacred things that husbands and wives do behind closed doors. Maybe we should have that There's special father-son talk. Especially now that you're getting married. <laughs> but listen. He has a hole I in his throat? can't talk very loud. It's the tracheotomy. When a man and a woman love each other very much, they go into a room alone and shut the door and bolt it with at least three locks and prop a chair under the doorknob. Take notes. So no one can get in. So you know what to do on your wedding night. Or out. Then they take off their clothes and get out. <laughs> A wide variety of scalpels. Some curved. I saw a video of some short. This chick with a all of them golf. sharp. And then the man climbs on the woman. And then they with the barbed wire. They. It's all right. Don't get worked up. You need your rest. Yes. Rest. But why did you come? You must have had a reason. What's the thing you it? put the golf ball on? I need on some called? meat. And you Pat know, you put it in the ground and you put the ball on permission. it. Good old dependable Pat. Oh, the tea. Here, son. Here's my signature. Oh. Take There's this lady laying on the ground with her problem. ass. Now go, son. Go quickly. Before she comes back. With the tea plugged in her ass. And a golf ball on top, and then someone swings, and like it fucking hits her ass with the force of a thousand tons, and it, her ass just rippled. I hope she's okay. Think, like, don't commit suicide, um, mom. This is no time to talk gibberish. Okay. This photograph is a constant torture for poor old dad. Screenshot from the movie Rosie Palm meets Rosie Cheeks. Really? That's a movie? No! Leave that there! If any of it turns up missing. Uh -oh. Marv, what's going on in there? Uh... Go! Go! Uh... Okay, I got, I got the permission. Now I gotta go to the cemetery. Let me save. Six. Why? Wow, what's in here? Oh yeah, he was burying something. He wa oh, and he moved the picnic table. Weird. God, I found you. Are you all right, Karen? I want to go home. 
Could Wait, so if I didn't made he it here, she would have died? Can you tell me who did this to you? Mr. Potsdam told me he'd hurt my mommy if I told. He won't do anything, I promise. Tell me what happened. He made me play house. Then he dug a hole. Please, I just want to go home now. Please. So I can kill him? Can you tell me your address, honey? I don't know. Just take me to the store or the policeman. Please, mommy said to go to the policeman if I got lost. And I'm lost. I kind of expected it. I kind of like thought maybe the game would let you do it. Kind of surprised. Bye bye. 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 Wait. So if I didn't come here and then I dug it up later, I would find her dead body? Damn it, I would prefer to find her dead body. So, is she gonna be at the- does she know how to go there? Did I need to bring her? Oh, there she is. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh my god, Karen, thank god, what happened? Found her in the graveyard. She was buried alive, and she claims Mr. Potsdam was responsible. Thank you, Steve, thank you from both of us. Here, here's the reward money, take it and go. I need to be alone with my baby right now. I can't talk now. The I just heard that Mr. Johnson's Tucker was vandalized. You know, though I don't like to think ill of people or can take I can pleasure buy stuff. in the stuff. So I'm not sure what others. I need yet, so. I'd like to think it's a comeuppance for all the times that nasty man has bothered me. Bye, bye. I have 25 cents. Do I have to pick up the money or is that all she gave? Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. I'm gonna go uh, go to the meat plant. So, your father okayed the meat, huh? How's he doing? It's the Keg W guy without... He's recovering nicely. Good, you're glad to hear it. Here's your meat, he, son. He, he, you he looks like the, yeah, he looks like the Keg guy without the mustache. It's time mustache. to start cutting. Bye-bye. Can't talk now, Steve. Meat. Come to think of it. Already Only ready. the juiciest cut. Bye bye. Once you take, you'll realize the importance We've of maintaining quality while cutting costs. Bye bye. You know what we're doing here, Steve. If we didn't, with the lodge, you. Your father. Don't be such. Bye bye. Uh, I got the meat. Okay. Bye bye. Okay, calm the fuck down, you overeager fuck. Jesus Christ. This guy's like waiting for me to do the next thing so that he could get ready, get this message ready to at me with it. You, calm the fuck down. Jesus Christ. What is with these like socially inept motherfuckers not knowing how to read the room and then I'm like, okay, it's okay to help. And this guy's like, oh my God, frothing at the mouth. The moment she's done this, let me at her with this message. What a fucking dumbass. Um, 
Let me go give the meat, maybe. Bye bye. As long as I don't soft lock myself into something. Say that's that's a nice cut there, Steve. Did you bring it for me? Sure. Steve, you're Maybe a he'll real give me champ. Something. What a son-in-law you'd make. Did you say hello? Thank God for that at least. You molested Karen and buried her. Yeah, I know what that crazy little bitch said, but it's not true. Crazy I'm little bitch is five. Mrs. Potsdam will vouch for me. Isn't that right, Mrs. Potsdam? That's right, Mr. Potsdam. Hello, Steve. Care to stay for some pot roast? Forget the pot roast, Mother. Pot roast isn't for backstabbers. For persecutors. I won't share my meat with him. My meat! My meat! It's the truth. That's why. And I think you better be going, young man. Before oh. I call your mother and tell on you. Oh, you're supposed to go to the fireman. <laughs> Someone went and scraped up Johnson's car? Well, that's a Can change in topic. He'd step in a bear trap and chew his own leg off rather than suffer a scratch tucker. Almost. Serves the rich bastard right, if you ask me. If it isn't my- Bye bye. Did I talk to him that night? Um. Hello, dear. Yeah, I think so. She's. Bye bye. Is the hole gone? I can't kill him. If it the cops will arrest me. Stop, my Karen. Stop. Wait. Oh, we got a different outfit. It's still there. Steve, it's so good to see you again. I get so lonely in here. I'm sorry. <laughs> she got fat ankles. Want to hear what's happening out in the real uh, world? Three out of ten. No. Her elbows are too pointed. Her like ankles are kind of thick. For a while. Would not smash. Come here. Stephanie. I feel so close to you, Steve. What? Like we're the only two people in Harvest. Yo, we just met you, Harley. The only two real people. Do you know what I mean? Yes. I need to feel something again. This sense I have that I've known you. It's my only link to my past. Yeah. Maybe it's different than memory. Maybe we don't remember each other so much as we recall the feelings deep inside. The music. Strong Yo, is the Maybe the body has its own memory. Food guy having a Let's stroke. Find out. Oh. I want you. Make love to me. Oh. Then take me now. <laughs> it's a picture of 
Jesus. My faux mother keeps me up on the latest gossip. I've always wanted to tuck. Any idea? I did. Why would you do something like that? It's part of the lodge initiation. I see. Look, I don't. Bike. Well, I guess you'll fit right in, won't you? Scratching a car is no big deal. Getting out of this mess is. But Sorry. what about the hole? When you put it that way, I guess I was overreacting. Is it true? You found Karen? Yeah, just in time, too. He'd molested her and buried her alive. He couldn't bring himself to kill her outright, so he just decided to stick her in the ground and let fate take its course. Who? Who would do that to a helpless child? She says it was Mr. Potsdam. And I believe her. Oh, Christ. And all this time... What I is wrong the with the music? With that, with that thing watching me. Take it easy, okay? So, at least they'll be coming to take him away, won't they? Come back and visit. I'm glad to come back and visit. Oh, it's fixed. Wait, what about the hole? If it isn't my face. Is there. I don't think there's anything else I can say to him. Um. How do I. Do I do tell the police, maybe? I go tell the police. Try to tell him the. Tell the popo. And then I'll check out the firehouse. Boy, the way you keep pestering me. You'd think you were feeling guilty about Did something. Did I give him the meat? Yeah. Are you? I got a report here that someone put a ding on Johnson's tucker. <laughs> as honorary as Johnson is about that old car, I suppose he had it coming. Was I not I supposed to give him the I imagine it was just some kids pulling a prank. Oh, I should have kept the meat for the dog so it doesn't bark. Stop. I gotta load then. Cause that there's no point in giving that guy meat. So I have to do the sex scene again, I think. Here we go. <laughs> I have the meat, right? Let me see. Yeah, I got the meat. Steve. I'm s no. Show it to him, don't give it to him. Oh, yeah. I could do that. Stephanie? I feel so. I. This. Maybe. Let. I want you. Make love to me. Thanks, Zoldan. I'm gonna then go pee. Now. Did you say hello to you? Thank Yeah, I know what that crazy little bitch said, but it's not true. That's my If <laughs> I can show him the meat. Say that's that's a nice cut there, Steve. Did you bring it for me? No. 
Oh, you've got a mean streak in you, Steve. What are you teasing me for showing me teasing that? Teasing with my man meat. Put it away and leave me alone. Okay, bye. Zed, this looks like a middle schooler's search history. <laughs> Fire men. Sorry, Steve. After I'm through here, I've got cleaning to do. Rush, rush. Hello, Steve. Lovely day, isn't it? Still sketching the same nude man, I see. It doesn't behoove one to be fickle. He's not even Besides, nude. Once you find a perfect model, you don't let him go. Can I have a cloth? Come again? Shit, what did I need again? Stop! I don't converse on the job, Steve. I need a cloth. Maybe... Wait, what if I put the matches? Oh, reward money. What if I put the matches Well, on? that didn't work. Let me ask what I need again. So, you have completed your first task. Now that you've scratched the tucker. Oh, fabric. Fa fabric. I'm gonna ask nicely. Maybe they'll give me some. I have a corpse in the lawn. Can't talk. Fabric. Come again? Oh. Bye bye. I have to set off an accident, I think. And then maybe I could take this fabric. A well endowed <laughs> nude man standing. Maybe I need fuel. Oh, maybe check the store. I got money. I can buy something. What do you have? You have ranch, you have coffee, soup, coffee, tape, ranch. Mm, don't know what I need this for yet. Water cooler, barrel, coffeeer. There was gas cans, yeah, but I couldn't pick them up. Maybe there's gas cans in the TV. I don't know. That guy did tell me to check this place out. Maybe I can talk to this guy. Don't hurry. Never mind. Maybe I can give him something. Here, do you want a checkbook? Oh, now, sport, this is really interesting. Boyle's done something wrong, otherwise the sheriff wouldn't be blackmailing him. But what? God, I'd love to nail him to the wall. Yeah, and don't forget about the sheriff. Dwayne is a blackmailer after all. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I decided oh. not to run with this story. What? 
but this is all the evidence you need for your newscast. Evidence of a blackmail situation, canceled checks, a ledger. Sorry, sport. No can do. Matter of fact, I, I think I may have to shoot the sheriff a private little newscast about this. I know, I know. It may cause you some problems, but hey, let's do lunch, okay? My treat. Wait, what? Don't hurt. Okay. Bye. Maybe I could talk to the police? Hello? Boy. You I got a report. Um, yes. Say what? Stop on. Wait, there's an empty gas can. I need gas. I thought there was. Binoculars. Never mind. Oh no, that was the one I gave to the guy. Yeah. Oh, he's gone. I'm sorry. Bye. Get it? Dun 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 dun. Maybe there's something here. I can make copies of the checkbook. Oh. But I don't know what I would do with that. I found a button, but I don't know what that's for. I guess I'll make copies of the checkbook for fun. Hey, do you have extra gas? Sorry, son. I hear you've been spreading all sorts of gossip about me around town. You've shut your mouth off about Sheriff Dwayne blackmailing me. Not oh, a smart oops. thing to do, given that Dwayne carries a gun. Anyone who can't keep secrets is unworthy of the order. I wish I hadn't already given oh. you that lodge application. Oops. Well, don't hold your breath waiting for your mail. Bye. Next time. Well, I'm going to reload, because I didn't mean to tell that guy that. Fireman. I don't think I had anything done. Yeah, I didn't do anything. Um, exit. Uh... Sorry, son. No. Button. What's that you say? Oh, oh it's yes. his. My button. It's been missing for months now. I it was him to get another but well the but black male him I'd have it to was him he did do it with Washington to get another and I just don't need the extra paperwork sure wish I could find it don't mumble next time My button. Where did you find it? Uh, did I break the game? My Funny thing, oh. Bat. I found it in the ashes. At the newspaper building. What are you implying? That I had something to do with setting the fire? Preposterous. Yeah. Why, a hundred people must have visited that site since the fire. You just try showing that button to Sheriff Duane, son. He'll laugh you right out of his office. Sorry, son. Maybe I will try. Next time you put... Burnt flyer. That interests me not... Maybe I will. I want to make copies of. She said free copies. Wow. That shit's so expensive. Um, can I copy a chunk of meat so I have more meat? Is 
So now what? Oh. I can copy anything? I can just keep making copies of stuff? Damn it. Hmm. Can I make a copy of my coffee? Damn it. Oh, oh man. Well, that didn't work. Can I copy? I should have copied the picture. Oh my god, yeah! Oh <laughs> well. have done that. I didn't even know there's a photocopier mate. Here, button. Now that's a pretty button, sure enough. Where'd you find it? The site of the old newspaper building. In the ashes. I'm Why surprised you missed it. I copy some money? Hmm. Oh, could that? I copy the porn As you can mag? see, it's the button of a postal worker. And we've only got one in Harvest, and he's missing one of his buttons. So what? If you're saying Boyle burned down that building, you've been watching too much TV. That button isn't evidence of anything. Shit. He could have dropped it there any time in the past six months after the fire. Do me a favor, boy. Leave the detecting to the detectives. Well then, what about this? That's not pertinent to any of Oh, what about... Copy of the notebook. Now, where did you get these, Steve? Does it matter? I guess not. <gasps> of course, I could kill you right now. But you won't, because I've got the original checks, which oh. prove that Boyle burned down the newspaper building, and that you've been blackmailing him to keep it quiet. I've hidden them. Anything you don't happens show to me, the actual one. they might turn up soon uh-huh all right you've got me boy tell you what and give you oh. one of sheriff Dwayne's custom deluxe get out of jail free cards that is if i catch you doing something i'll look the other way once that's okay. the deal how about it sure all right just bring me the originals and we'll close the deal I can't go kill someone. I'm sorry. Can I go kill someone? Yeah, really? Are you sure that's what you're supposed to do and I wouldn't soft lock myself? No. Nah. That's up. But you won't. Uh huh. You should have been reasonable, Stu. <laughs> you die if you pick the other one. No! So showing them the button didn't even do anything. Do I even bother with that? Set the fire alarm off at school? Okay. Like telling them didn't do shit. Run! It's the fireman. Go in! Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. I can't go in? Grab the thing. Oh, a ladder. Take the ladder. Okay. I'm not sure what the frisbee is for, though, but... Okay. I was I was hoping I could get the fabric, but maybe not. Nightfall this Oh. For the dog? I got meat for him, though. Okay, now I do my prankster. Who 
Okay. Oh man. Oh man. Well that didn't work. Okay. Okay. Well that didn't work. Well that didn't oh, work. Well that oh, didn't work. Well that 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 didn't work. To the firehouse? Oh, go in. Jeez, what are you doing here? Just standing here, waiting <laughs> to be brought. You just hang out here, all the time? I'm not a person, Steve. I'm an object. You do well to remember that. A person is his job. Someday you'll understand that. And if you don't, it won't matter, because you'll be dead. Okay. Have you gotten your lodge application in yet? Yeah, how did you know? Good. You may oh, he survive smiled. yet. I guess you're here to steal the bolt. Not at all. That's not my job. However, since I am an object oh, I gotta light to art, and since art oh, this guy's a bro. I'll give you a clue as to where the bolt is located. Darkness gives as darkness gets, but light in bolt is light shed. Well, that didn't work. Oh man. Oh, I don't. I need fuel. Okay. Well, that didn't work. Damn it. Look at his butt. Still here, eh? Where? Yeah. Go. Maybe now I can save. Male model. What? How do I light the campfires? Can I still? Oh, I don't have a frisbee. Ladder. Oh man. Oh, okay. Well, well, that, well, that didn't work. All right. Wait, what just happened? All right. I got a piece of cloth. Oh. I got a piece of cloth. Okay. All right. That it? Okay, bye. Oh. Sex Stephanie again. Okay, so I can't pick up the paper because I have yesterday's paper in my inventory. Hey, Steve. You. Okay, what if I. Don't talk to him again. Get the paper. 
Is he gonna be gone? Fuck! I'm like a day behind on the paper. I can kill the newspaper kid for free? Oh. Well, let me go talk to... What's my new job? Exquisite cloth. What's it's up, Corpse lost, Malone? should trigger quite a bit of dissension amongst our gallant firefighters. Still, that is not your concern. I need to see the your barbecue. Your next assignment is to break oh, into the tonsorial establishment of Mr. Pastorelli and abscond with his prized barber's pole. Okay. Lack of respect for authority. A fine trait for a member of the Order. Yes, I approve, Stephen. I hope you succeed in your task. Break into the shop, steal the barber's pole, and bring it back to me at the... Okay. Check on Tucker. Some rotten some bitch scratched my car! My Tucker, my baby, my poor darling, my sweet cheeks! If I find out who did it, I'll kill him. Just kill him dead. I told that fool sheriff to beef up the patrols, but what does he care about? Nobody cares about a limp dick fat boy. Well, I'll make them care. Oh, does this dick not work? Maybe that's why he's so mad all the time. Why couldn't they have scratched the hell out of that rickety fire truck instead of my Tucker? Those firemen are carrying on like the world is ending. Just because someone foo -foo stole cloth. some of their poo poo cloth. Someone ought to tell them that the world already ended. Is that a slur? I should know. I was there. Thanks, Leo, Good work the rescuing Karen. Of course, you queered my play with Edna. But I said, <laughs> Good work girl's rescuing life is Karen. More important than my sex life, right? What the fuck is he talking bye now. about? Oh, bye. Bye bye. The Foo Foo Fighters. Oh, they're not home right now. Um, I'll get a get out of jail card. That includes murder? Wait, I didn't, uh, I need to go photocopy it first. Wait, I don't know if I did it, because I reloaded earlier. No, I didn't do it. I, I didn't photocopy it yet. Hold on. Photocopy this. Buy some stuff. I don't. I, I don't need anything yet. Can I give the original. I I only need a photocopy one though. I think. Here you go. He's gone. Fuck. Maybe next time. Uh, the barber shop. Uh, what the fuck is this guy talking about, dude? Nice paragraph. Thanks, Halgrim. Uh, barber shop. All right. Alien head. Sam and the sheep. Think about taking some of that siding off my hands, son. I tell you, the only thing worse than a fire station full of sissies is a fire station full of pigs, sissy. Hey, you can't call them They're that. They're all accusing each other of stealing some silk underwear or something. Boy, whoever said fighting fire with fire be happy in harvest. 
Cause we got a fire station full of flamers. <coughs> Is this guy still alive? Nice to see you. I can't talk now, son. I dang it if the whole town ain't going to hell. Poor old Johnson. Defecating the work. Defecating. Well, that's a sure sign that civilization is coming to an end. Um, alarm. Oops. Dang it, the fall. I want to see the security here. Dang it. Anytime. But this guy doesn't speak English. Maybe, let me go talk to the Sarge. Maybe he has new stuff. Or not Sarge, but the guy. Military guy. Try this. Halt! Who goes there? It's just me, Steve. What do you want? Did the llamas send you? No. That's good. Someone has to keep them in check. I remember you. You're the soldier I sent to check on the fireman. Did you find evidence of Kami infiltration? Um... No. Thank God for that. Your next assignment is to infiltrate the Lodge before it's too late. Get it at all costs, mister. Wait, if I no, told I them they're Kami, does he kill all of them? He probably sets off the missiles. Barber. I don't fuck. Remember. Is that all he has to say? Ding, ding. He probably shoots me. It's not often that I get visitors. It's a wasp lady. Do you know where I can get gas? Wait, I don't need gas. Do you know Barber? A trip. Someone said give her a tampon. I have all I need. Thanks. Oh, she doesn't need my tampons. Okay. <sighs> Never mind then. Wasps. Can I give her anything? She doesn't need tampons. She opens her pussy and wasps fly out. Bye bye. I can't. I feel terrible about what happened at the fire station. Those firemen helped me decorate my diner. Aww. I can't believe one of hey, them where did stole the that go? from the others. It must have been someone else, don't you think? Bye. Where's the sheriff in it? Bye bye. So what, what do we do with the tampon? Maybe someone bleeds and I could use it? Can I give it to my dad? Sorry, son. Next time you... Uh, barbershop. Okay, now what? Now what do I do? I talk to people. I have this in my inventory. I need to steal the barbershop hole. The sheep? Examine the sheep. Oh, it coughs! Give it cough medicine. Well, that didn't oh, work. Oh, never mind. Buy the duct tape and wrench? Oh, to fix the sheep? I was gonna give it cough medicine. What's with the baby? That's not a baby, that's a grown man. Here, money. Can I buy everything?
Why well, can't pick this up? Maybe I fix it. Oh, that's what I needed to do. didn't work. Oh man. Mm. Well that oh, didn't damn work. It. Well that oh, didn't work. It. Okay. How would a professional break in? I need to break in. Use a tampon on the door. Okay. Well, that Damn didn't it. work. Okay. You use a tampon to shape it into a key. Yeah, and then. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Anybody know how to break in? Just smack it? Use a tape on the door? What? That doesn't- What? Oh, and then smash it? What the fuck? What? Huh? Well, that didn't work. Straight slot. So it breaks in one piece? It's still- Ah, oh, fuck, the alarm went off! This is your first arrest, Steve. Okay, reload. I, I, it didn't count technically. He gave me three tries, but whatever. Um, okay. Tape. And then break. Wait, so if you miss the axe, you're just fucked. Okay. Can I turn off the sheep? Oh, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> I need to turn off the alarm. Maybe I beat the shit out of it. No. No. Okay. Okay. Tape it. What the fuck does taping the sheep do? Okay. No. Okay. Okay. Damn. 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 Didn't work. Wrench. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Okay. Well, that well, that well, that well, that well, that didn't work. Uh, use the tampon? Oh, that, well, that, well, that didn't work. Turn the alarm off on the wall? How? Oh! And then now I can take it?
Really? Well, that didn't work. Yeah. Oh, we just had to turn it off. Okay, bye. I didn't see the switch. That shit was so hard to see. It's Sorrow Man vibes. La, 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 la. It reminds me of this really old- there's this clip of this girl playing Lion King. Like a really old game and she died and then it just said game over. And then she had to restart the whole thing because it just brought her back to the title menu. And she's like, what? What does this mean? Start? Now? Old games. They didn't have the tech for cutscenes, they just deleted your save file to save space when you die. Burger. Hey, Steve. You Can I get that disc? Okay. No. I can't kill him yet. Um Yeah, I have to go find the police. You won't. Uh huh. Sounds good. All right. Okay. So now I can tomorrow I can kill the kid. I have I still have another task. Excellent. Ugh. And here it is, the object doll, imported Venetian glass and Italian dreams. You have done well. Side effect that Pastorelli was electrocuted because you left live wires in a puddle on the floor. But as oh no, of worldliness say, say la vie. Oh, I have to give him the originals. Uh oh, yes, a barber cut down in his prime. Of course, you only wanted the bowl. I, I should have. Could I have fixed the wires? Now. I probably could have. Your final assignment is to set a fire in DNA's diner and let DNA's the French fry diner. where they may. Uh, alright. Yes, I suggest you succeed. Beyond that, you must find your own answer. Oh, yeah, I could probably tape the wires. Order must be resourceful. So must you be to become one with them. Tonight the bake sale commences. Tonight Soon the bake and sale. The harvest blood drive will be at hand. When sacrifice will be the order of the day. Your time in harvest grows short. <laughs> the Yale sale will commence tonight. Make sure to bring your old game cartridges and all the electronics. Oh, 
Oh, he's gone. I got it. Hold on. I gotta give the cop guy the stuff. Oh wait, I can save him this time. Um. Yeah. And then tape it. You can't. Oh, man. Well, that didn't work. Okay. Oh, man. Well, that didn't work. You can't. Okay, bye. I'm giving a days old newspaper to the kid because I keep picking it up. Hey! Okay, bye. Did I copy my thing yet? Yeah, I did. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, here you go. No. But. Oh. So. That's right. Yeah. But can you give me a good reason why I shouldn't just kill you right now and take them back? A deal. Yeah, you did it upright, Steve. Guess my best play is to pay up. And next time I catch you for something, I owe you one. And no hard feelings. Death cheer. He took it all? Yeah, okay, we're good, we're good. Got the deal. Get out of free jail card. Get out of jail free- Jail- Jail- Get out of free- <laughs> Get out of free jail card. Get out of- Get out of town! Get, get out of town! Wait, the object what, do, what do you mean? I, I don't want to get out of town. Oh, let me go look at the dead guy. Think about taking some of that siding off. I was one what found Pastorelli this morning. After he stepped in the water with the live wires hanging out, his oh, body fuck. was so burnt, his arms and legs was blackened, fused together, and the sheep was well done, too. Problem is, both was burnt so bad, and the flesh all crisp Wait, so and the sheep distorted, was real? limbs melted. You couldn't tell them apart. And well, I didn't want to take a chance on the Italian. Why they killed the only Italian guy? No, sir, I didn't. Nice to. I can't talk now, son. I guess you heard that dang idiot Pastorelli went out and got himself electrocuted. Somebody stole a barber's pole. Maybe I could give him a tampon. Any time. Yeah, soak him and put just put him in rice a little bit, and then. He'll be fine. Save. Diner. How do I- I can't talk. I've whipped up a huge batch of brownies for the PTA bake sale tonight. I just wish I could do more to oh, help the bake sales today. Games. What time is the big sale? I think it starts at 6 and runs until 10 o'clock. I hope to see you there. 
Mr. Pastorelli was electrocuted. Oh. He's dead. It looks like some thief wanted his barber's pole, but didn't think of the consequences. Maybe it's what the guy had to do. Maybe whoever it was really needed that barber's pole bad. That's no excuse for hurting someone else. Even if Pastorelli were alive now, Maybe his heart would be broken. Sometimes you gotta break a few eggs to kill some to chickens. That. You gotta break a few eggs. Bye bye. I can't. Bye. Sometimes you gotta break a few chickens to make a few eggs. I can't go in the fire station anymore. So now I gotta set this place on fire, but I think I need gas. Anything else to do in the meat plant? Can't talk now. Breaks my heart to see everyone getting so excited over a bake sale. What a terrible waste. There's only one thing people need to be eating, and that's red meat and plenty of it. What's There's nothing healthier. What's brown meat? Don't be such a strange. Uh, what is it? Red meat just meat? That's oh, enough, chicken is in red. Fuck, I Four forgot legs. about chicken. How long are you going to torment me? You have two legs to spare, but no. Oh, Mama's yeah, like fish that. isn't they red meat care. either. Oh, they yeah. Oh, yeah. Stay away. Stay away. Yeah, so boy. I'll, yeah. Woo. Woo. Yeah, baby. Woo. Son of Oh, let's see where, um, actually, go talk to Stephanie. I'm glad to see you. I feel so alone, cooped up in here. I understand that bake sale is today. Yeah. Wait, I gotta check the, the hole again. Coming the way everyone is acting around here. It's insane. The maniacal attention paid to this bake sale. Like all the women in Harvest came from the same cookie cutter. It's unnatural. Unhealthy. And through my window at night, I see my mother throwing out whole batches of cookies. Like an cookies automaton getting rid so of its good. surplus product. I like My so-called mother has soft. been baking cookies all week. I like and then throwing them out. Cookies. Oatmeal Better raisin that cookies. than getting rid of us. Maybe oatmeal chocolate Wait around chip. Long enough. I want to get some oatmeal. I, I have a feeling they'll get to it. Make some oatmeal chocolate. My faux mother keeps me up on the left. Same dialogue. Any Johnson was really... You know the firemen? Someone stole some fabric from them. And they're up in arms about it. Why would firemen spend their time decorating? I don't know if you heard or not, but Mr. Pastorelli, the barber? I don't know. Mr. Swell came by. I heard him telling my father about it. He said it smelled like roast pork. Well, these things happen. It's yummy. Especially around here. Is it true? You found Karen? Yeah. She's... She's just kind of repeat stuff. Come back and visit. Is the second episode of Tolo out yet? I haven't seen it now. Oh my! Wait, it's blue this time. Color was the last time Hello, black. Dear. She's the bake sale. Give my re so bake sale at the school. Da, 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 da. It was red. Oh, really? C 
seeing you here again, one would think you'd never graduated. Nostalgia is a waste of time, big guy. My breast just swells with pride whenever I... Mr. Johnson says one of my pupils some luck when I went to get my hair trimmed this morning. And worse, that Mr. Pastor Relly had been electrocuted. Say, don't know how you did it, but if I were still publishing the Sentinel... Okay, bye. Hey, where do I bake sale? How do I bail sale? Bake sake! Yard sard! Maybe I talked to my own mom? Bail Dale. Hello, dear. How are you today? By the way, I spoke with Mr. Johnson and he's living. Seems someone scratched up his priceless Tucker. If he finds out who, there'll be heck to pay. Did you hear what happened at the barber shop? Someone broke into Pastorelli's salon and took his antique barber's pole. <gasps> The next no. morning, Pastorelli touched some live wires that the thief left lying around and was electrocuted. Well, that darn foreigner got what he deserved, if you ask me. Coming into a nice little town like Harvest and stealing business. <laughs> Heavens, if a bowl and scissors were good enough for your father, I don't see why decent working folk need a fancy wop styling their hair. That's how it goes. First you get a sissy trim, then bang, you're a communist. I hear those silly firemen broke out the axes and hacked each other to death. Oh. Things never were the same between them after the firehouse robbery. Oh well, maybe now we'll get some real men for the fire department. The it's true, going, if you get a I sick fade, you're a communist. You also, you're gay Can't now. you feel it? The way the stalks whisper in the autumn wind? It's almost harvest time, Steve, when the chaff will be cast aside before the There's even more fucked up shit? This game is Hero. sick. You found Karen after all. You don't seem proud, Mother. I how, does, why. how does everybody even I know I found you not to waste time looking for her? Am I running out of time? The blood drive is coming soon. What does that have to do with anything? If you haven't my joined the lodge by then, you'll find again. out. My corner of my mouth. Still, I'm glad you found the poor baby. She says Mr. Potsdam was responsible for what happened to her. What a silly little girl. Um. I believe her. Shame on you. What? Imagine accusing your future father-in-law of a thing like that. Is that how a range rider would behave? Range? I don't think so. Why would she lie? Okay, Weisenheimer. Even if he is a child molester, a kidnapper, and an attempted murderer, that's no reflection on what kind of father-in-law he'll be. But like this, I just there's can't actually the people like that you? though. Isn't it exciting, Steve? <laughs> Five days and twelve hundred cookies later. That's the, the scariest part. Here. Where does the time fly? Those one thousand two hundred cookies. How many are you taking to the sale? Oh, about twenty. The rest were stale. But the effort wasn't wasted. It's for a good cause. Oh, Will you be at the school tonight? I want some cookies. Sure. That's nice, dear. It's good to be open to new experiences. People like her are real, yeah. People, like, I mean... Some kids will grow up and then they'll tell their parents like, oh yeah, uncle whatever molested me. And then the mom would be like, no, he didn't. You're just trying to cause drama. But then even if they do believe it, they're like, oh, just, just don't bring it up. Don't talk about it, okay? Let's not ruin the family dynamics. Don't you think it's odd having a bake sale to pay for burying out of towners? Gosh, hooties, what should we do? Leave them in the streets? Of course we should bury them. But why? Do so many out-of-towners drop dead in harvest? I have wondered fact. about that, and I think it has something to do with the air. The, it's but the 5G. Wrong with the air. It's perfectly clean. It's the wires and That's the towers. What I mean. Big city folk, they get so used to smog that clean air is a shock to their systems. Gets them every time. Bye. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. Mm, can I have some cookies? I want some cookies. 
What do you want? Hey, it's too bad they don't give scout badges for digging up buried kids. I like to see what that badge would look like. I went over to ask her what it was like being buried alive and all. But she just stared at me and twitched and drew her. What? <laughs> Guess I got my answer. Huh. What? Good. Can I get that? Hey, where do I go now? I need to wait for the bake sale at night. <laughs> I, I don't have a gas can. Go to the mortuary. Oops, 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 oops! Okay, apparently all the firemen kill each other. <laughs> Hello? Young man, we really have nothing to say to each other. I do hope you'll attend the bake sale and spend heavily. It's for the needy, you know. A ditch makes oh. a poor resting place. You'll need to learn that. You make it sound like I have a choice. A choice that is rapidly vanishing. I'd say it's been a pleasure, but I find the company of... Young man, we... I'd say it... Okay. Is there something in here? No, it's just a green man. Thanks, Clues, Canadian Sledge Hacker, and Bintoy, and Queer Strip. There's nothing here. Check the casket in the chapel. Okay. <laughs> the chapel. There was a casket in the chapel? Chapel. Here? Oh, there is a young man. Take a picture. What the fuck? How would I know that? What the? Take a photo of the. You a take. You would take a. You would take photo of the body. Okay. He said he doesn't use stitches, though. He says he uses glue. So why was there stitches? Ah, you've taken up photography, I see. Now why on earth would you choose such a grotesque subject? That John Doe you got boxed up in the chapel? He didn't just drop dead. Someone helped him take the plunge. Hmm. You may be right. I'm a mortician, not a medical examiner. You don't have to be to know that being ripped to shreds can be detrimental to your health. This is I'm not something you want to be looking sound. into, young man. Oh. Is that a threat? No shit. That's what we all want. What game are you people playing? A game we win or lose together. Look, are you gonna tell me what I want to know, or do I go to the sheriff with these I'm pictures? I'm gonna go to the sheriff! That would be a grave mistake, I assure you. 
I've told you all I can. I get glued My in exchange? My losses have been substantial of late, so I can't offer you money. The only thing I can give you in exchange for the photographs is my tube of astro glue. I do suggest you take Okay. a wise decision. When a wasp's nest is stirred up, it is so seldom what I do? Yeah, sniff it? Do I sniff the fucking glue? Oh, now we go to the bake sale. Is this my main game? Yeah. I play this every day. Okay, go to the school. Let's go look at the bake sale. Wait, I thought- oh. Oh! Buy some cookies? It's for a good cause. These MILFs? Buy some cookies? It's for a good cause. You all look alike. Mercy! What a terrible thing to say. <laughs> Isn't it, ladies? Yes. yes. Terrible. What the fuck? Hello, Steve. So nice to see you. Derelicts and bums who wander into town who don't I have enough have money for a cookies. decent burial. That's awful nice of you. Wait, but are you allowed to go to a high school and buy harvest? cookies? Don't be such a wise apple, Steve. If they're having a bake sale? Not anymore? Wait, why? What do you mean? <laughs> I didn't do anything. They're selling cookies. Kind of weird. Ladies, someone has just burned down the TV station. Oh no! On, On the night, night of our bake sale. sale. Wait, what's stopping me from just going into a school and buying a burger? Because it's cheaper. It's not like they don't know that I don't go there. <sighs> oh my God, it's him! I'm like triple their age. I'm not triple their age. I'm only quadruple their age. Yeah, I can see the station is closed. Um. <gasps> Am I supposed to do something here? But why would I want to go in? Okay. There's a whole picture of the car. Damn it. Go to the diner. again Grease operate it and then set it on fire what's the tape it's so it the glass doesn't go everywhere apparently
punch the air in frustration. Um, where's the fire alarm? The smoke alarm. Oh, tape the alarm. Okay. Glue it? Well, that didn't work. No. Wait, use a ladder. Well, that didn't work. Well, that Damn didn't it. work. Well, that didn't work. Go use a shovel on it. Okay. Screw it. Well, that didn't work. Try the other screw. Oh, man. No. Cover it. Cover it with uh, glue. Well, that didn't work. Tampon? Well, that didn't work. Take a picture of it. Oh man. Well, that didn't work. Oh man. Glue the stove. Damn it. Cover with a button. Oh man. Glue the shovel. Oh man. I mean, what do I use to cover it? Use. Why? I don't have anything. Glue a meat permission slip. Well, that didn't work. Cover it with. I don't have anything. With a bat. I don't have it. It's in the room. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Damn, well, that damn didn't it. work. Glue. Well, that didn't work. What the? Fuck? Well, that didn't Oops, work. Oops, that's glue. <laughs> yeah. Get out of there. Okay. Yeah, I didn't even see the fucking cave cover. I thought it was part of the grease fryer. Is that the White House? Nipple time. Time to think about burgers. What do you people want from me? I don't understand. Why do people like arson? Why don't they just stare at a campfire? Arsonists do before we invented fire, they probably just rub their hands together really fast, as fast as they can. And they're like, ooh. Exciting. Oh, I'm gonna kill the kid! See how easy it is?
How do I, can I, I picked it up? Oh, sick. Wait, how do I use it? No bullets? Oh. Fuck. I thought it could be free. I'm out of here. Um, now let's go to the diner, see what's up. I've tried so hard to find an excuse to keep on fighting. But Karen and I can't go on alone any longer. She hung her. This diner he left us was all we had. It was always a struggle to keep it running in such a small town. And now we've lost it. I know that I can't afford to support us now. There's only one way out. I'm sure you won't be able to understand the depth of despair that would enable Mother to put a rope around her baby's neck and push her into the air and jump after her. I wonder if I'll hear her next now. If she kicks around, it takes a long time to strangle me. I'll scream, but I won't cut her down. I've got to be stronger than I ever was before. But I hope she doesn't kick. God help us and forgive us. <laughs> she did it in the middle of the diner? Oh, and the kid, too! <laughs> and he's eating food? Where did he get the food from? Did he cook for it? Did, he co did she cook it first? the sign supposed to be closed. How about the TV station? Oh, it's closed. Say, can you oh my spare goodness. a dime for a buckaroo who's down on his He's luck? Like half the whole shebang just Two went face. up in flames, and I'm looking to mosey on to greener pastures, where the sun sets always golden, and there's always another savage to kill. Okay, bye. Diner is no Let's go, Corpse Malone. As is Edna herself. She hung herself as soon as she realized what had happened to her beloved establishment. A true entrepreneur and a credit to her nation. A true entrepreneur. Come now. Anyone who spoke with her for five minutes would have known what a tragedy the destruction of her diner would be. Still, you sought to torch her diner, and torched it is. You have proven yourself a worthy candidate for initiation. She hung herself because the business, yeah, because her business flopped. As she should. This was only a trial to determine your worthiness for testing. Your initiation into the Lock mysteries era. of the harvest will soon begin. In the meantime, be patient. Protocols must be observed before initiation may commence. How I recognize the sign? You will know when you receive the invitation. Bring it here. And your initiation shall begin. How'd I get away with killing a kid? Because I have a get out of jail free. Wait, he didn't even come to arrest me yet. He didn't care that I. DNA's. Oh.
Nobody cares about that kid. Yeah. Apparently. Is he still on my lawn? Oh, it's gone. Someone cleaned it up. This is my favorite room. What? Oh, it's you, son. I told you not to come in here. It's too risky. I need some meat. Good old dependable pet. Now go, son. Go quickly. Before she comes back. Bye. Bit late. Wait, what did I do? Is it the kid? <laughs> Was it the kid? It's cool though, we're cool. Boy, in Harvest, you can't just go around killing little children in public. You're under arrest for murder in the first degree. Come with me. Okay, Steve. Consider your yes! get out of jail free card used. You're free to go. I just got one question for you. Yeah? How did it feel to kill? I feel great. It's something, right? To see them twitch all over, peel back their eyelids if you're fast enough, and watch the dark angel just reach right through the pupils and yank out the light inside. They're never more alone than when that happens. You can't share in it. You can only watch and try to keep from smiling. Is he, did he drop me back home? Oh, he tucked me in. Thanks. Dave. Wait, so now that the bake sale's over, what are they doing? Hello, dear. How are you today? The nerve of some people burning down the TV station to detract from our bake sale. I doubt the perpetrator did it just to annoy the Harvest PTA. Coincidence? I don't think so. Just six months ago, the newspaper building went up in smoke. Obviously, there's a firebug on the loose. Either that or a communist. <gasps> Not a communist. Steve. I'm so scared. What's communism got to do with anything? Just ask Colonel Monroe at the missile base. He'll tell you. Now that the bake sale's over, I just don't know how I'll fill my time. Oh, I feel so useless. My goodness. What's wrong with her? My goodness. Oh, it's not as bad as it looks. You just pop them back in. See? Oh. As good as new. That tarantula she ate must have had wasp eggs in it. Don't you think we should get her to a doctor? Oh. What for? She's got her mother. How silly I was, feeling useless just because there are no more yeah, cookies to bake. Yeah, as good as new. I can still rear my brood. My mom did that to me when this I was a This is a sign, too. Steve. I have a purpose again. Uh, glad to see you're feeling better. My, and all mothers have to do that. That my bridges. First the newspaper building, then DNA's diner, then WHAR. I sense a pattern. And any Can pattern I, talk to I the can walk, make a dress out of again? is no darn good. I suppose you heard about DNA's diner burning down. Sheriff Duane thinks it was a grease fire. Oh dear, I just heard what happened to Stephanie. What do you mean? What happened to her? You haven't heard? Well, young man, you march right over there this instant. She's your fiance, after all. Hello, dear. We took a black eye on the bake sale. Overall, we made about $200. Hardly huh. enough to bury a dead horse. And definitely not enough to cover the annual blood drive. Annual. annual if you knew how much blood we get you'd be more impressed donations are mandatory steve until it that's until not it a donation hurts. even hank will have to donate of course lodge members are exempt 
Remember like that. Salty pork hey, belly. Either way, no one's sticking me with a needle. Damn we right, don't brother. Need needles. Oh. Hank. Your little brother is homesick from school today. Is he? Look at the show he's watching. He's been sick what? every day. Honestly. I don't know. Don't you dare use that language around me. You're lucky your father didn't hear you. Or Stephanie. Think that Emma sick of Planet Waves? you think she'd feel? No. Watch out for the Fauci ouchie. Don't forget. Is the baby okay? Oh yeah, what's the kid watching? Yeah, I want to see. What is it? Hank? What? Why are you sitting in front of that blank TV? Someone burnt down the TV channel. Oh. There's nothing on. <laughs> nothing on. Honestly, Hank, you're acting like an alcoholic. I told you all that TV would hurt you. Watching TV don't hurt me, Mom. But not watching TV hurts bad. If I find out who burnt down the TV station, I'll make him wish he was one of those damn Indians. Juicers when XQC is not streaming. Finally. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh yeah, I gotta go find Steph. Ah! What the fuck? I should save. Is he eating her or something? Hey. Guess I can forget about the meat, huh? What do you mean? Your dad must have pulled some strings. Be sure and check Stephanie's pillow, you lucky bum. What the hell are you talking about? You'll see once the sheriff gets here. <sighs> Stephanie, Stephanie. Things will never be the same now. Guess I'll be watching TV nights. Oh, cause every night he okay. stares at you can her. Come in now, son. What happened? Oh my god. <laughs> is that what I think it is? Yep, it's a spinal cord. Is it Stephanie? I can see a resemblance, but I can't be sure. What? More pie, Sheriff? Pie? Don't you realize what's happened? <laughs> oh, indeed I do. I, I can just hear the tongues wagging at the PTA. Was it suicide? Never heard of anyone pulling their own spinal cord out before. <laughs> Off the record, I'd have to say no. No, all in all, I'd say this was death by natural causes. <laughs> natural causes? You can't live without a spinal cord, son. Nothing unnatural about that. She's not wrong. Think I will have some more pie. Right away. I can't believe this. This is horrible. Believe me, you get to the point to where this is routine. Now the only clue we got is that card on our pillow. Take a look at it. Harvest Moon? Something, something, Steve Mason? This is practically a confession. Confession to what, son? Murder. Isn't that what you're here to investigate? Son, you don't investigate natural deaths. No point. <laughs> then I'll get to the bottom of this myself. Yeah. I'm sure you will. I think they turned her into a meat pie. More pie, Sheriff? That looks good. Don't mind if I do. Yum. Can't say I've ever seen someone rip out their own spinal cord before. <laughs> I don't suppose it'd hurt for you to take the card, seeing as it was addressed to you. Shucks. I'm sorry I had to read it in the first place. At least we did. Dude, job. we still got lead. Say, 
I wonder if there's more pie. Hello, Steve. Have some pie? Uh, sure. Well, what family doesn't have its little problems? If it's not poor dental hygiene, it's a spinal column on the bed. True. <laughs> Gimme. Can't allow you to take a remain, oh. boy. What kind of sicko are you, anyway? When you meet a family, they don't have spinal columns on the bed. So weird. So quirky. Are you sure I can't take it? Can't allow oh. Lodge invitations. Maybe I go check them out now? I can pick it up. Can't allow- No, 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 no. The lodge invitations. There we go. Is the hole still there? Oh, let me see. It doesn't seem to work anymore. No more ass. What do you want? You know, with a slaughterhouse full of meat in town, what kind of nutcase would steal a barber's pole? I think he ate oh, well. her. Pastorelli won't need it where he is. God rest his soul. You don't make games like this anymore. Those silly willies down at the fire station are just... <laughs> Harvest will never be the same without DNA's diner. Or without DNA. Stiffing. Stop m oh. He ate and left no crumbs. He left some crumbs. Uh, Lodge. I could have saved her! Here, who's this? You received the invitation, but you have not brought it. <laughs> I don't understand. The invitation was not the card. Oh! But the spinal cord. It well, I didn't know that! them to leave the room. Give me the spine out. No! Oh, maybe it's in the evidence room. Damn, they clean up the bed sheets real quick. Human remains in the evidence locker? I don't think so. Oh no! You <laughs> no 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 no. Maybe here. She died of organ failure. Hey, do you know- Young man, your fiance's death was no doubt a tragic affair for those who knew her, loved her, and so forth. But to me, you simply can't get a nicer assignment. No organs left to remove, no fluids to drain, solvent parents, and no coffin to fuss over. I think I maybe I want to. Maybe I kind of want to be a mortician oh, when I'm true, older. Only her hairdresser will know for sure. I think if I'm now. ever done streaming. The W H A R fire is just another example of the vagaries of my profession. Odd, oh, after such a catastrophic conflagration, not to have any fatalities. Disappointing. And I'll wear way, a top hat every day. I might have gotten some paying customers for a change. Until I'd I have to bury a, a child and like. But I find the company of the living so wearisome. This is 
did the life of the I put in my earbud. Uh, so where's her body? Is it in the casket? Wait, this is some other person. Oh, I think I was supposed to look at that earlier. I already took a- I already took a picture of that. Is her body here? Do I dig it up? I, I have a shovel in my inventory. in there Well that didn't work Okay um, Tape it open Well that didn't work ah! Okay Oh man. Wait, what? Okay, here we go. Fucking tape it, I guess. Oh man. Oh man. Well, that didn't work. Not. No. Ripped. Like. I probably have to smash. <laughs> He ate my bussy. I don't know if I'm like okay or not. He looks faded. So I think we're good. <laughs> he looks so silly. Oh worm. I'm out. Don't get arrested, please. I didn't know sarcophagus or crypts have a skylight. Do they usually have skylights? Fancy ones? That's the grandma from Spongebob. That's what it reminded me of. I... Um, here you go. Ah, you have done well. Now, let the initiation commence. As my Mr. Gog? As your Mr. Gog, it is requested and required that I turn over this sacred dagger to you to aid you on in God. your quest. Oh! What is this? It's a sacred dagger. Were you not fucking listening? God. You must.
must now enter the lodge. Initiates find it a hostile place. Are you supposed to help me or get me killed? I'm starting you on the path of initiation to a very special, very exclusive brotherhood. I don't know how to hold I it. Maybe there's a handle on the back and you spin it or something like of a test. Whether you like a like those cement thingies. A friend to this it is a special weapon. Hi. You all. Whatever occurs in here is relevant to the great question which you cannot help but answer. What is at issue? is whether, in answering the question, you will find the answers you seek. You will encounter those intent on preventing or prompting your answer, depending on how you look at it, while the assumption is you. Just tell me! It the member. Oh, great. I am the sergeant. Now, let the initiation begin. He talks to us through telepathy. He doesn't, yeah, he doesn't like open his mouth. This game was three discs? Wow. Crazy. Thanks, Liam Smith. Ah, uh, you're here. Excellent. Hey, this is that guy in the barbershop. That door. Excuse me? You are the exterminator, are you not? No. In that case, I'm afraid you'll have a hard time of it, sir. Recently, the lodge has become infested by pests. They need exterminating or to be blunt, sir. They need killing and plenty. <laughs> what? The second floor, sir. The entrance is hidden, but I, I wish you good luck. Okay. Save. Weird. Benjamin Franklin Thomas Jefferson Beethoven? What do I just go? Am I in a pizza? Ooh, a bubble. <laughs> Examine the sphincter. A puckering sphincter. Okay, he's fine. Examine the shell. Keep going, I guess. Damn the mushroom. Okay. Guess I'll go in this butthole. I see. Fuck. Examine the big eye. Oh! A burning feeling in my skin. You know, this gooey film of slime. Save. Big. This is a cloakroom, sir. By definition, not a fitting place to seek answers. However, it's plain that the acid from your ordeal is eating away at your clothing and skin. I can clean your clothes for a minor consideration of five dollars. Oh, I need to find five dollars. Um, I'll be back with five dollars. They 
ate something nasty? What is this, a Jesus? There's something to pick up here? drank all of it. Is that bad? Oh shit! <gasps> PvP! Oh, all right. I hope I didn't need the bottles for anything. Oh, I got a bar key. How's the combat? If they added parrying, it would be better. Okay, I don't know what happened. What what just happened? I think the acid on my clothes <laughs> they killed me. No, it's just the plant. Maybe... Okay, so I can't go that way, I think. Let me make sure. <laughs> okay, yeah, I can't. Okay. I just want to make sure I couldn't, like, use some hidden tech to dodge it. I got a key. Maybe I, there's still one more room. What's over here? Oh, chef. Well, I hope you're proud of yourself. Hey, these are the same people. I didn't Ever do it. Ever since nice the hands. monsters invaded this level, the members have taken to dining with the Grand Poobah upstairs. Thanks, Uwoza. Actually, I have to admit, my last few meals haven't been up to snow. The problem is the freshness of it's the corpses, torso. or lack thereof. See, the supply has dried up. The sergeant at arms always used to insist that bodies killed in the lodge be disposed of without trace. And so the members would bring me their business for preparation and dissemination. Oh dear, you're not a member, are you? You're an initiate. Forgive me, I can't say another word about it. Can oh. you tell me anything that might help me? Not really. Well, he's a me I hope guy you're proud in of the yourself, other. Killing my clientele. Ever since the monsters invaded this level. Actually, I have to The sergeant. Why am I talking to him again? Oh, can you not? Mm. Ooh, pick up the meat. I got all that meat. Freshly removed hand. Anything else you got for me? Pick up the sandwich. Right click to eat. Oh, I guess it's an HP for me. Maybe, maybe I give the meat to the plants. try that. I don't think- I don't know if the plants would like sandwich, but I think they like meat. Because I can't eat the meat. Hold on, save. Try this meat. Okay. Oh man. Maybe it needs a bigger one. Try this one. Okay. No. 
Yeah, this one. Okay. Okay. It doesn't work. Well, that didn't work. Damn it! Well, that didn't work. Okay. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. There's still another room. <laughs> Over here. Ooh, damn the fire. Sam the books. Third Reich scientist. Stockyard mutated cattle. There's a cow <laughs> with four eyes. Sam the table. The candle is warm. Sam the table. The radio. Is there anything to do in this room? Oh, there's a duck. The cow winked. Oh my god, it did! Should I cook the meat? Oh man. Damn it. Well, that didn't, oh, work. Okay. Well, that didn't work. Oh man. Damn it, oh, man. Okay. What's a bar key? A real plant. I don't have five dollars. I can't go back out. Damn it. Do you want a sandwich? No. Yeah, I can leave. So that means I have to do whatever I have to do here. There was a head? Oh. I can't. It watched head never boils. I thought maybe, uh... Oh, what the fuck? I didn't see that at all. There we go. $200. Ooh, money. Okay, now I can go get my laundry. Dude, that shit's so hard to see. I need accessibility. Here, here's five dollars. Do not touch anything. Okay, what if I touch it again? <laughs> oh, I see. Um, okay, so the acid is clean. Can I have- here's two hundred dollars. Just kill him? Really? Oh! Okay. Where the toga? Damn it. Well, that didn't work. I can't wear it. Was I supposed to kill him? I'll oh, cut his head off. I have a shotgun. Oh, two shells. Now I can go kill the plant.
mean, I'll find out if I get locked. <laughs> well, fuck. <laughs> I thought you had to, like, right hold right click to aim first. Okay, I got a shotgun. Damn it. Go again. <laughs> Thanks, Dirk Key. I got turned into strawberry jam. Don't worry, everybody's a paid actor in this game. Oh, I could probably kill the chef too then. Ah, I walked too close! Fucking hell, I should save before I do that. One. Ugh. right here. Dude, you even tell me- stop tagging me. You don't have to tag me in every message. Shut up. Jesus Christ. Dude, I walked too close again. I can't tell how close is too close. Incoming wave of tags. Uh, no big deal. I think it's like people that think they're special and that I wouldn't ban them or something. People with main characters. It didn't work! Did I miss? You can't shoot it? Oh, then what am I supposed to do? Clip the chef? He's been clipped. Okay. I can't, I, 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 Examine the fountain. Maybe I put the meat in the fountain. Well, that didn't work. Well, that, oh, well, that didn't okay. work. Well, that, well, that, oh, well, that didn't work. There's a vine. There's a vine. Damn it, damn it. Okay. Put the, <laughs> let him wear the toga. <laughs> Oh, his body's gone. You realize I can't leave, right? If you don't know, 
Don't type anything if you don't know. <laughs> Put the toga on the peg second from the left. Okay. Like, stupid ass motherfucker is like, Oh, you gotta go back, try going back to that room. Try? You don't know what you're talking about? Just Sh shut up. Okay, there we go. Yeah, now that's good help. Oh man. There's a scythe. Oh, maybe use a scythe? Yeah, the fucking Tri community could eat shit. Thanks, Steven Pre. The light switch? Is that the oh. Okay, and then? Is it done? The one on the left. Oh. Oh my god, is that a fucking xenomorph? Okay. Well, that didn't work. I got a gumball. Never mind. Claw machine. So what happened to everybody? Well that the didn't work. Stick. Take the bat. What am I doing all these weapons? I'm in the bubbles. Maybe use the pool stick on the Damn bubbles. It. Use. Okay. Well, that well that didn't work. Use a siphon on okay. the bubbles. Okay. Oh shit! I gotta touch the toga again. Okay. Grab that. It's just extra weapons. Use a sight. A swell name. My oh, yeah. Name you like my What's the point well, of grabbing these? Here you go, just for fun? I'm just oh, for man. You gotta excuse me, young okay, here, have a body part. Go, 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 go! Save. Speed. I'm in the trash. I'm in the sink. I'm in the tub. The weed killer! For the plant. I'm out. And then feed it another. Go, 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 go! I'm out of here. I think I pour some weed killer. Does that mean if you use a minor amount of weed killer, it's like alcohol for plants because they can enjoy getting drunk? 
Just like how alcohol is poison for us, but then if a little bit is fun, you know. Oh, well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Oh, there we go. Okay. Fountain. Salmon. Should I weed the fountain? Damn it. Oh, well, man. That damn it. Well, damn that it. didn't work. Oh. Let's go in. Oh. Uh. What? Now look, I'm looking. There's something I'm supposed to click. Kind of relaxing. The sound of water. It makes me want to pee though. There's a key? Maybe there's too much weed? Well, that didn't work. Okay. Well, 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 oh, well, that didn't man. work. Near his shoulder? What the fuck? <laughs> How are you supposed to see that shit? Fountain key. I don't remember seeing a locked room. Is it a kitchen? Do I haven't done anything in here. Maybe it's this. It's right of the fountain. see that shit there's a door I didn't see that shit there's a man oh my he's smooth oh I look <laughs> his face okay. I'm gonna eat the sandwich I am we're good Mountain 2. Sam in the barrel. <laughs> what happened? Welcome to the Harvest Moon Art Gallery, sir. I'm the Which is that dream? Of this place. So delighted you could come. That it will, I'm afraid. Art often forces engagement, doesn't it? Lovely works, pastoral scenes, noble sculptures. These are easy on the eye and mind. But when confronted with a twin, work of hidden everybody spawn, always, everybody always talks about with, Twin Peaks. Even if only Every time some shit strength. is like the weirdest thing ever. Twin Sadly, Peaks must be the most, the most extreme works are the hardest to dismiss. Interesting show to watch if you're intoxicated. Protescaries amid works of beauty are necessary. That should be taken for granted. Nevertheless, what it's the I'm just passing through. If only it were that simple.
sickeningly offensive? Why, what is that? I don't know what that is. Disturbing painting? But I can't even tell what it is. It's morbid but strangely erotic. I don't get it. Oh my god, it's a clanker! Out of here, clanker. Hit. I need a heal soon. Maybe I should just use a shotgun. Fuck it. Wait, I've gone in a circle. Now there's probably gonna be some hidden shit again. God. Okay, now what? Should have dropped a key. Would it go in my inventory? Oh, I got it. Okay, okay, okay. And then try this. <laughs> Fucking try community, yeah. Fuck the try community. Bunch of try guys. Don't you guys have wives to cheat on or something? Okay, let me save. Try this. Mm. Is that door locked? Am I in a courtroom? Oh. Can I help you? I'm looking for a girl. This is a library, not a brothel. <laughs> okay. You don't understand. I have reason. I hope to believe that she was brought here. Do you know anything about that? I'm afraid not. I tend to stay out of lodge affairs. I'm only in charge of the library. Yeah, there's like weird fellow. people walking around killing people. Well, if she is here, she's not been invited as a member. There are no female members of the order. To be sure, one or two have qualified throughout our history, but they're generally not of our caliber. I doubt there are any females in this building. Mm, no females. At least none that are extant. But you're a woman. I'm not a member. Oh. Women are kept here for the services they are able to render. Just as some jobs are beneath men, so too can certain services only be supplied by women. Oh. If she is here, you'll find her on the third floor, which you'll have difficulty finding without my help. And you want something in return. I'll give you a clue as to how to get to the third floor, but only if you'll retrieve an overdue book from one of our charter members, a Mr. Kane. Since how will I know which book? Oh, you'll know it. Can I? I'm look. This is. You don't. I. Ah! How? Wait, I hope that's not the guy I killed. The guy killed Mr. Kane. Are you Kane? Let me see. Oh yes, the new initiate. I'm the lodge membership director. What can I do for you? Shortly, you will run into a fellow named Mr. Kane. Oh. He has the strength of the truly insane. You will need help to get past him. Appreciation of music. Okay. Ding, ding. I mean, I can just shoot him? Really?
I don't know, I clicked something. What did I pick up? Operate the column. Cooked flail. Oh. Operate the column. What does this do? Alright, bye. Excuse me, you oh. can't come in right now. I just mopped the floor. Hey, buddy, give me a break, will you? Keep up the floor. Hey, buddy, give You think just because I'm a janitor, I got no pride? That's all I got to do all day is clean up after your rich bed? Should I kill him? Yes. Okay. All right, buddy. You asked for it. Oh! I can't get close. Dude, this flail sucks. I thought it was gonna be bigger than that. Dude, that flail was. I thought it was gonna. It's like, it's like the spanking shit you use in a bedroom. Um. It was not what I thought it was. I think I should use a scythe. Oh my god! It's f whatever. Excuse me. Use, use this. No, it's, uh, I don't have enough reach. Maybe I do want to use. <laughs> I think I do want to use a shotgun. Thanks, Mimi, for the 10 milfas. Thank you, thank you. And thanks, Blue Jack, and back to Monkey. I'm using the shoddy. Why did I kill him? Because he was in my way. Door's locked. Ballroom. Am I the asshole? My house, my rules. Chess master. I am the chess master. Any initiate who wishes to pass this way must Fight do me so. to the death. Yes. In that case. Chess is a
Okay, did I win? Hey, do you guys have a heal? I'm <laughs> about to die. Oh, a key. All right. All right. Is there any healing items? that was I'm just gonna use my shotgun. Maybe, okay. I'm not gonna kill the janitor yet then. Chest. All right. Yes. <laughs> Give me a key. Yeah, I shot an extra oh shot, it's fine. Quick check if he has an anal bead. Oh my god, I have I have a hook, but I have no more shotguns. Damn it. Got a hook? Oh that was Kane. Oh no, I got a book, you stupid fuck. I got his book. Not a hook. Okay. Go return it. Here's your book. Ah, you've returned the book, I see. You told me you'd help me get to the third floor. Hey, do they have shotgun shells in this? Ah, yes. You'll need a special key, which is in the keeping of our resident chess master. Here is your clue. That's the- The best that I can give you. Okay. Is there shotgun shells here? No shotgun shells in the library? Fucking useless. His pieces are in the key? Is that what she said? Already got his key? Oh. Oh, that's what she meant by it's in his thoughts. Um. Key, key. Where was the door? Is it this door? 
I don't really want to have to fight this guy. Excuse me, you can't. Do I have to fight him? You think? All right. I can't swing. <gasps> Do I have to fight this guy? Anybody know? Shotgun? Okay, I don't have any more shotgun shells, so I should just reload... Um... This. Oops. Okay, then I could just skip the cane thing. Okay, and then take his key. Alright. Okay, bye. Damn, I thought I kinda wanted to spare the janitor. Good. Then shock on him. Hey. Hey. I can't move. You. Saves are getting so fucking long. Get the film. Okay. Okay. Rockets. Back in the box. There's shit in it. QP. Oh man, oh man. Um, use it on the door. Oh, that's where I came from. Is there nowhere to go here? Okay. Bye. the QP key for- oh! Clown. What's this? Lunchbox. Oh, I got a Sarni. Upstairs. Chair. Okay. I don't really 
want to walk up to the oh my goodness. <laughs> what the fuck? Why did they walk away? Oh, use the gun. Oh, the nail gun, yeah. No wrong way. Okay, give me the sandwich again. Oh, my minus one! No! I am sad. Obscure. Well, that didn't work. Okay, take the flag. And then. Wooden plank. Spool the plank. There's a lighter near the sofa? Oh, what the fuck? This <laughs> is so hard to see. How's my health? I'm okay. Save. And then? What do I light on fire? Oh, here's another plank. Here's another plank. I'm planked up for days. Weeks even. Okay, I got- how many planks do I got? I got three planks. Aw, oh, man. Light it up, light it up. Turn it up, turn it up. Thanks, Pocket Livy and Flare Pack Manny. work. You're obviously an earnest young man. You're in luck. A quick check of my records indicates that indeed a woman was brought into the lodge, although I neglected to get her name. Since females are generally not considered for initiation, the young okay. lady is currently being detained on the third floor in the Chapel of Love. Seek her there. Seek her there. And don't forget to bring her her prize. What's her prize? Little things means so much but how do i get to the third floor you guys have an elevator oh maybe take the baby and put it oh, oh damn it oh, 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 damn it well that oh, didn't man. work for doll Dumbledore? That wasn't Dumbledore. Where do I go now? I kind of I, I I don't know how to go up the stairs over here. Maybe you gotta go up the stairs. Oh, oh damn it! Oh, damn it! 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 Damn it!
Uh, where am I supposed to go? Masks on the wall backstage. Here. What the fuck? I don't know, something happened. What happened? There's washers. There's like a fursuit. some pipes down or something. Try the wrench? Yeah. Uh, no, it doesn't work. The thing is, I don't even know what I can interact with. Faith is a rusted hole in it. Here. Damn it. We have to take the broken one off. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Okay. Pipes? I'll combine them. Okay. Oh, there we go. their key there. I'm gonna go pee.
Well, that didn't work. 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 Use the planks on the lava? <laughs> what the fuck? to go faster. Use a plank on. Use um flagpole. Oh my god! And if you didn't get it, you have to go all the way back. So just wait. Hamburgers. This is the temple of the mystery of abstinence. Do not eat of the food or you will be punished. All within are hereby bound to a vow of abstinence. My game closed. Why? Gold Koi. What is supposed to happen? Hello, Daphne. How's life going for you? No. Things blossom. This is the What the fuck? But I have to I could just wait for him to finish. You obey well, initiate. Better than your brethren. They have eaten and grown stronger for it. As promised, I will not punish you for your obedience, but they will.
Oh my god, I didn't eat my sandwich. I'm good. So it wasn't supposed to crash. <laughs> okay. You obey well. Oh my god! And some mothers complain that their children don't come to see them. Ooh, mommy, you're, so you're so good. Shocked. This is the most motherly love. Everyone says motherhood is fulfilling, when in reality, it's draining. I see what you mean. You don't know the half of it. From the start, children are parasites. That's what you've got to understand. Sucking the life out of you. Your very life's blood pumping from your belly through obscene pink tubes into their thieving hearts. And even after. I kill birth, the kids, I kill all of them. They keep leeching the life. Does it doesn't matter out. if I kill them? Ooh, mommy, you're so good. You're so good. Of course, my children are better at it than most. Is that the bliss of motherhood? That's the mystery. Just what the world needs. <laughs> yeah, child mouse to feed. Children suck the life out of society. Oh shit, they're coming after me! <laughs> they got a little blade. Oh my god, I'm killing kids! You never get to kill kids in video games. Welcome to the temple of the mystery of religion. The mystery is thus. Those who preach love and mercy and God <laughs> Cry. are often those who call for the death of heathens. Do you believe in God, my son? You are wise. His mercy anoints us all. And where doth he dwell, the Lord? Heretic! I'm <laughs> <laughs> so happy. Bunch of dead children. What is going on? What do you want here? I'm just passing through. You think it's that simple, huh? Just passing through? Well, my family was just sitting around. And look where it got them. The temple of the mystery of morality. My country paid me to kill. And then when I came home, I was out of a job. They expected me to stop? Cold turkey? Is that what they wanted? A paycheck today? Jail cell tomorrow? Am I a criminal or an entrepreneur? Hey, Thank you for your let's service, find out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a giant teacup next to me. Am I okay? I think I got hit a few times. Oh god. Might die. Nice lamp. Mr. Potsdam? The mystery is this. Sometimes you have to lose some meat to get some meat. They wouldn't let me in until I demonstrated my worthiness. Oh, my invitation came after I buried Karen alive. That showed initiative. And her spinal cord was your ticket in, right? Yes, but to be initiated into the mysteries of the harvest, I had to do one oh. last thing. 
I let them into the house and into Skeppy. Wait, then what bedroom. if I what happens if I kill this guy? Does he get sock locked? Sorry, that's not my department. Now I'm a butcher. You should have gotten your dad to hire me on. That way, you could have been the boss instead of the prime cut. Oh, whoa. Nice tits. the nail gun. Should I just kill everybody then? What's in here? It's locked. Wombats, and he is their shepherd. Answer thus, if thou be virtuous. Doth Naturally, God, being almighty, hath no need to import. I don't know, apparently he's right. He's just so talking about. <laughs> oh my god, what is it? It's a trick question. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh no! Is in fact an all expense paid trip to Brazil. Oh! <laughs> not seen a Fuck, I think that I don't. Is this a game show with the doors? Oh, fuck. I don't even. Okay, whoops. Hey, do I still have my sandwich? No, I'm okay. I'm chilling. Save. Going to Brazil. Okay, this door. Fill the gas can. Ooh, use my chainsaw. Actually, um... I'll use the nail on the other guy. What up? Okay, we're good. Nail. So are we in Brazil or something? for a good time at a reasonable price? Sure. All right, that'll be $200. Sure. All right, honey. One of the ladies will be right with you. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, stud. You shouldn't have picked Crystal, though. She hasn't been feeling well. That's it? I'd be sure to get to a doctor if I were you. These diseases can have pretty horrible oh, effects, no. you know. <laughs> oh no! Feel the pain from the hooker's disease. Uh oh. Welcome to the temple of beauty. And am I not beautiful, oh man? Look at my hair, black as a moonless night. Look into my eyes, deep pools of desire. 
Am I gonna die from Look at the my sex? Complexion. You're beautiful. And what else? Your lips are like cherries. And what else? Your hair is and like what? silk. You're a little bit. You insult my beauty? <laughs> Wait, am I gonna die? Dude, I'm gonna die from the disease. Welcome, initiate, to the temple. I'm gonna of the die. Of pain. The mystery is thus. The simple manipulation of nerves may break one man, and yet leave another unmoved. The physiology is the same. All nerves sing alike, yet the results differ. The question can only be answered by paradox. Although the body functions I have to undo to my sex science, disease. The invocation of pain is an art. My implements are simple things, like a painter's brushes. From which beautiful complexity spring. Ah! Is that? I invite you now to torture this man that on Will the table to explore this blessed mystery himself. <laughs> I died to the disease. Um. Did I save? I know I have a Brazil nail, this one. Yeah. Um. Welcome. with desire such is the mystery of lust so often the instruments of lust as all instruments of higher pleasure are condemned they kill you if you don't sleep with sought them. after I'd go on about the hypocrisy uh, of a hedophobic society but I think I'd rather just not, kill me the disease man. is not worth Fight her anyways. Oh, here. Welcome, initiate. I invite you now to torture this man on the table to explore this blessed mystery yourself. Otherwise, I'll have to teach you the lesson myself. Oh, I have. A flail with hooks in it. Welcome to the temple of the mystery of charity. What mystery is there in charity, for God's sake? I'm just holding it. The mystery is the... Any act of charity is an act of selfishness. A feeling. You see, though I am needy, I'm a taker and... I could kind of follow the town. 
will be required to execute them. That's how all the people are disposed of the lodge. And each member is expected to pay his share. What's happening? I don't know. Sure. They're weak, but I was told they're begging you for mercy. Do you grant it? No. Then finish it. Initiate. Love is the mystery of mercy. Life is a competition, and mercy a perversion of the natural order. What's when Salvia? you extend mercy to a competitor, you give him a second chance to beat you. It's a drug? Oh, is that what the devs were on when they made this? I go I have to kill it guy Some of the fight is like RNG. What if I spare them this time? Now I'll just kill everybody. Serious looping. Okay, save. I just have to survive that guy and hit him before he hits me. Out of shock and shells. Welcome to the inner sanctum, big guy. Principal. It was the principal. Within the inner sanctum, you will address me as Vice Muck Hero, second in command to the Grand Muckety Muck. He of the Fez and Buffalo Ham, the secret handshake, the funny passwords. Only fitting, given that my role has always been that of an educator, and Harvest is one big classroom. What do you mean? You'll have to kill me to find out what he means, big guy. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Um... What the fuck? I need to save my shotgun. How am I supposed to kill him? He has fucking lasers! That means I can't use my shotgun on... Okay, I have to use it on this guy, but then... Oh shit! Let him spawn. What the fuck? I didn't even get to shoot! He shoots so fast. What if I spawn on the left? Like, what if I stand over here instead? To walk there fast enough. Oh no, he fucking faces you immediately. What the fuck? Two shots left. Would you like my autograph, Steve? I mean, my game closed. Damn, <laughs> nice moves. Did I, I click too much? Oh, I gotta slow down my clicks per minute. Okay, I have to shoot exactly when he spawns. And not too early, not too soon. Okay, so use this. Go here. Move! Oh my god, he's just he's fucking standing still. God damn it. Go for a good RNG roll. damage. Stay 
Okay, now put the shotgun back. Is this the last one? With Oh. <laughs> I didn't mean to shoot the other guy. <laughs> this is always a great moment when the initiate passes over the threshold and becomes a brother. Stephanie? I believe you have something for her. Ring the bell and win a prize for the lovely lady. Or is it win the lovely lady as your prize? Enough games. Agreed. Turn into a clanker. Each time you climbed the rope, you caused her pain, but you always hurt the ones you love. Did they give this guy what they filmed him? Serial killer. The harvesters seek to perpetuate terror and discord for our own purposes. We do this through the random utility of murder, and we persevere through our recruitment of initiates like yourself. You want me to become a serial killer. This entire reality has been engineered to break down your resistance, to desensitize you to violence. Now you may become a harvester and re-enter the real world or stay in peace with young Stephanie and spend the rest of your life in the construct known as Harvest. What is the real world at this point? Right now, you are suspended in a sensory deprivation tank wired to a VR tech. If you don't join us, we will terminate your life support and you will be dead within minutes. 
Those last minutes, however, will seem like a lifetime. <laughs> this coffee and kids' expressions. This, you will marry Stephanie and die peacefully of old age. You're presuming a lot. Aside from you, she is the only real person in Harvest. Suspended in a tank, jacked in just as you are. I assume you'll want to spend time together. If I stay. Of course, having completed your ordeal, you may leave with her as you intended and enjoy your victory. If, on the other hand, you wish to join us, the cost of exiting the Lodge is the same as the cost of entering the Lodge. A skull and spinal cord. Hers. No. What? You couldn't. Yeah, so um, we're gonna need you to be in lingerie for the whole game. These harvesters. They put people through this torture to give them a taste for killing. The way to beat them is to deny them. To live out your life here. With me. You're thinking about killing me, aren't you? Didn't you hear what he said? I do exist. If you kill me here, I'll die for real. And I'll feel all the pain, all the terror, because I'm real. Well, after all, what's a murder without pain and terror? We will feed the pain impulses directly into our brain, and then pull the plug. You will be a murderer this time. <laughs> I think like the Roblox. So what will it be? Life in harvest, or life as a harvester. our order, brother. Huh? So what is he, a serial killer now? Where are you going? 
nowhere. <laughs> I put her, his face in her no tits. At all. That thing? I looked at it the other day. The very thought. Breeding serial killers. It's disgusting. It's cool. You'll rot your mind playing games like that. Don't you know people who watch violence become violent themselves? <laughs> That's bullshit, Mom. No, it isn't. Why do you think they started cutting the violence out of those Roadrunner cartoons? Roadrunner cartoon? <laughs> Roadrunner cartoon? <laughs> Did he get bored? Oh, he ate that woman. Okay, what if we get married? Scientific. You want we should go back to the old way? What old way? Good breeding. <laughs> what? Wait, why are they... What, why are they, uh, making serial killers again? <laughs> For fun? Oh. Uh. Allegedly the main actor. I know. I saw you guys talk about it. Harvester main actor. Uh. Wait. You got arrested for possession of child porn. Oh God. Well, that's not good. Uh Oh my god, he's old now. Yikes. Same flannel in the mugshot? Oh my god. This guy only wears flannel. That's why they call him a kidder? Oh no! <laughs> no! Well, that was 
definitely one of the games I ever played. Uh, my favorite part was when the sheriff said <laughs> the spine. Uh, well, I've never seen someone pull out their own spinal cord before. As natural causes. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. That was interesting. Well, uh, stream's over. Bye, guys.